Oh, time to go live. Yes, sir. We have a green light and we are on. Hey, guys, how you going? So, that Big Car Sport. We are here for State of Origin in Game 2 for the women's. Obviously, we had the men's last night where Queensland were champions. They are going for the sweep now, Queensland. So, let's see how many Blues fans tune into Game 3 for State of Origin in the men's game. But tonight with the women's, this is it. This is the final game of the series. There is only two games. Obviously, Queensland came out on top in the first game, which was fantastic there to see. That was down there at Combank Stadium in Sydney, where Queensland came out on top 18-10 uh, at the end of the game there. So that means that in this game, if Queensland win, they are the champions. If New South Wales win, they have to win by nine or more. If it's eight, I'm pretty certain it goes to the previous winners, which would be New South Wales, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if there's extra time or anything like that. I don't think so. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, look, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this one does go because this is up at Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. Uh, so up there in North Queensland there should be interesting. Uh, but let's get to the two-team lines here, guys. The game does start in about 13 minutes' time. Uh, let's go hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for new around here. Yes, it has been a very tiring day. It has been a very exhausting day, as you guys will be very well aware uh, for, for Titans fans and whatnot. We'll obviously talk a bit about it today. Uh, but uh, as uh, you guys know, we do have the Gold Coast Frontline podcast with myself and Clarky's Rebel Lee column that we talk all things Gold Coast Titans. And we filmed another emergency podcast today to talk about the um, loss of Justin Holbrook and the signing of Desi Hasler. So if you've got any real in-depth questions about that, feel free to go and listen to that podcast. It is a good one with myself and him. But, you know, let's get into the two team lines here for this game. The Queensland Maroons. You've got Talisha Harden and uh, coming in, Julie Robinson coming out. Queensland is doesn't have the favoritism here. It doesn't have the favoritism on the uh, on NRL.com, but Julian Robinson is out. Talisha Harden is in. Tamika Upton is the fullback with China Pallada and Emily Bass on the wings, and Shanae Sisyoka and Evanya Pelote are the centers. You've got Taryn Aiken as a 5'8", Zahara Tamara as the halfback. Shana Mato and Keely Joseph are the front rowers with Destiny Brill as the hooker. You've got Tasman Gray and Romy Titzel as the back rowers, and then Ali Brigginshaw is the captain. She's lock. Emma Manselman, Jessica Elliston, Sophie Holliman, and Shania Power are the interchange with the 18th woman reserve being Talisha Harden there. So good Queensland side, not much change from game one. Obviously, Julie Robinson is unfortunately out. I believe it was with the suspension from game one. Uh, but outside of that, this Queensland team, you know, pretty much unchanged. Uh, it should be good to go here uh, for game number two. And hopefully there is a lot less errors tonight. Obviously, that was the first game. Not even We haven't even really gotten to preseason for the NRLW yet. I think they only started this week or maybe last week. We hadn't gotten into the preseason yet. So that was a real fresh game. Now they've had a bit of preseason under their belts. Plus also, they've had that game won. Hopefully we can really crack on here and have a, a, an absolutely slap up of a game. Moving over to New South Wales. Now you've got Casey Tohi Hiku, Simona Talfa, and Tiana Panatani coming into New South Wales side with Brooke Anderson, Ellie Johnson, and Rachel Pearson going out. Huge inclusion there for Simona Talfa and Tiana Panatani. Massive, massive for New South Wales. Emma Tonegato is the fullback with Jamie Chapman and Tiana Panatani on the wings. Jessica Sergis and Isabel Kelly are the centres, and Isabel Kelly is the captain. Talia Fumimayono is the 5'8". Jesse Southwell is the 7, with Kezi Apps and Millie Boyle front row. Keely Davis is the number 9. Uh, Olivia Koenig and Yasmin Clydesdale are the back rowers, and then Simona Talfa is V Lock. Quincy Dodd, Kennedy Charrington, Sarah Tongotuki, and Shay Lee Bent are the interchange with Casey uh, Tohi Hiku as the 18th award and replacement there. So again, New South Wales got a really, really quality team on paper. You know, there's actually a lot of Titans actually in this game as well. The Titans have a really good women's side this year. It's going to be interesting between them and the Roosters. Um, but yeah, look, a lot of real quality uh, talent there on both those sides. I think that on paper, you probably look at that New South Wales side and say there's probably the winning team right there. But then again, that was what it was going into game one of the women's game uh, this year. And obviously, Queensland did win down there in New South Wales. So, you know, hopefully up there in Queensland, uh, the girls can pull through here again, just like the men did last night. Really looking forward to this one. So, uh, yeah, let's hit that thumbs up button, guys. Subscribe if you're new around here. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, see if it says as fun as game as it was last yeah, night. I know the Blues fans wouldn't have found like... Oh, geez, that is um, not coming through my uh, mic my headset. That is not coming through my headset. Let's fix that. Let's go there. Let's go there. And then that should be fine now, right? It is fine now. Beautiful. There we go. Let's get into the chat. Let's get into the chat of Runos here. Olivia Reed with the $8 redo donation says another day, another donation. Definitely tired today. It was so hard to wind down last night. Yeah, absolutely. Firstly, I appreciate you for the uh, for the another day, another donation. Um, it was more so tired for me. Well, obviously we had last night, which was crazy, as you know. 
Um, and yeah, Queensland, New South Wales, State of Origin men's, it's always going to be real red hot, fiery, and take a lot out of you. But then to wake up today and then have to deal with the Justin Horrible situation, you know, I know Justin personally, right? Like, I, I, I'm... I was on a, I had a really good relationship with him at the club, and um, it, it really it, it today hurt. It, it really did hurt. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that we've got to keep cracking on. You know, excited for the future with the Gold Coast as well. And if you want to hear all the in depth thoughts about that with uh, Justin Holbrook, Des Hazler on the Titans, the pinned comment in the chat is the place for you to go. Shuey says, "Let's hope they don't knock it on twenty two times again. Let's hope not, man. You know that again. That was their first game. You know that was the first game." that they did have for this season. Uh, you know, it's like the men's coming in for a preseason game and you're going to see a lot of errors in those games. So maybe not as much errors in those, but the fact of the matter is, is that, um, yeah, look, you're going to see a lot of errors in the first game with no pre-warm-up, no real kind of, um, you know, ability to, to get a roll on before, uh, you know, there's no preseason, there's no nothing, which is straight into state of origin. I believe women's origin should be later on in the season. Um, but Women's Queensland is actually the favourites here tonight. They're $1.71 to $2.15 for the Blues. And the over in uh, 34.5 is uh, what the over is looking like right now. I feel like there's a bit of points in tonight's game. I know I get a, a vibe that there's some points here. Um, I think both teams know how to score points. And if they can hold the ball, there would have been a lot more points scored in game one. So, yeah, look, I'm, I'm feeling a bit of a high-scoring one tonight. And uh, I do believe Queensland win up there in Queensland as well. I'm not too sure what the crowd's going to be like. Obviously, we know it was pretty poor. Uh, it was really poor down there in, in Sydney at Combank. Disappointing. Um, but I think that the, the Townsville locals will get out and support the girls here tonight, hopefully. Troy says, oh, so it's by points total. Yeah, because there's only two games. So if there was three games, then it would be who won two out of the three games. But there's only two games. Uh, it, it, last year and beforehand, it was only the one game, you know? And so that was always... Uh, an absolute beauty of a game, but now it's it's the two, and then obviously they're working their way up to having three. Amelia says, "Come the Queensland, it's time to do the double." Exactly right, Amelia. Exactly right. I think we got the under 19s a little bit later on as well. Not tonight, but obviously later on down the season. I think they organised that. So you know, last year New South Wales in game two over there in Perth, they ended up winning the under 19s the women's and also the men's there. Obviously, Queensland were the series champions, but uh, New South Wales were able to get a clean sweep on that game too last year. So it'd be great to see Queensland potentially clean sweep everything this year. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Tropical Gaming says, I'm going to lose. Wood says, let's go. Uh, no. Dadame says, time for the real origin. <laughs> the Muppet. Jay says, how do I get that shoe play love heart off my chat screen? I'm not too sure, man. I don't see it. Like, I don't I don't get it over here. Um, I, I know that when you go onto another channel and you do lives and whatnot, I can, I can see it there. But for mine, it doesn't actually do anything for the creator. So I'm not really too sure what the point of it is. Like, even if you spam it, I don't see any of these love hearts or anything like this on the, on the chat. So yeah, I'm not too sure, Jay. I'm really not too sure. Uh, Mamaz says, you've got these girls. Get around it. Aaron says, a double A rise is Queensland. He's going to be right. Queensland. Uh, Marcel Moose says, off topic for this stream, but Justin Hobart getting sacked was so surprising. Usually coaches get sacked for doing losing games and coming last, but Titans were actually doing good. Uh, n well, anyway, if you want to hear my in-depth thoughts about that, man, then yeah, jump onto that pin coming over there because we do have the podcast for that um, because otherwise we'll be talking about it all day here. And, and trust me when I say, like within 10 minutes of the news breaking, I had a lot of messages, man. I had a lot of messages. I had phone calls coming in. Um, it was, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty hectic day. And when you have a, a, a real close connection with people at the club, you know, and, and look, I may not exactly be the greatest of fan of how uh, the breakup effectively has happened. The fact of the matter is, is that, you know, I, I feel for Justin, man, you know, and I won't even get to say bye to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I won't even get to say bye to the big fella. He's a good bloke. And I would love to see him at Newcastle. I, I really do. I think that Adam O'Brien... Uh, has done his has no, has done his number there at Newcastle, and I believe that you know Justin played for Newcastle once. He obviously would care about the area. Uh, I reckon you give him an opportunity there because I I don't believe that he's a bad coach. I just believe that you know things just didn't work out necessarily to perfection on the Gold Coast, but he was really building something. So yeah, look, I would love to see uh, Justin Horrible get a crack at Newcastle um, at some stage. Reese Double says I feel bad for him. It sounds like he didn't know. Yeah, uh, I don't. Not many people knew it all. Uh, Ket says, I'm a New South Wales fan, but congrats to you lads for last night. Deserved win. How is everyone? Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a good win last night. Re really good win. Uh, you know, obviously there was a couple of dubious calls that New South Wales fans complain about, but overall, you know, the, the better team won on the night. And I think that regardless of that, you could clearly see that the Queenslanders were well and truly more up for it than you saw from the Blues, to be completely honest with you. I don't think that there was anything really impressive showing from the Blues. Like, attacking-wise, they just looked like a headless chicken. It just didn't look great at any stage there for, for the Blues. And 
You know, um, even for me, I thought in, in the lead-up to the Damien Cook try, there was a forward pass. So I thought there was a couple of bad calls all, all round. But again, you go back to that 50-50 try uh, in uh, the first try of the game for Queensland. I think that because it was called no try on field, it gives us a no try. Uh, and then, look, if you want to call it forward or, or flat, look, I'm okay to call it forward there, man. So if you want to take the first two tries off, is it's okay with me. And that does change games, but you can very clearly see that the uh, the Queenslanders had the momentum throughout that game and, and, and were the better team. So... Um, yeah, look, it's unfortunate that calls like that happen, but the fact of the matter is, is that New South Wales just don't seem in it this year. They really just don't seem in it. Uh, Venom says, what are your thoughts on Lua's pose? You should be following me on Instagram, Venom, on BK Sport, because I called that out this morning. First thing I saw, I think it was my first post on Instagram, on my story. It was uh, straight about that. Don't you worry, you know? And then obviously we're hearing about how Luai was had apparently had death threats to him. And, and look, I believe that. I do 100% believe that, but I also don't even know if that's necessarily... 100% behind the, the post. I think that is directed at everybody. I really do. I think it's directed at everybody criticizing him. I think it's just everything compiled into one there. So, yeah, look, it's it's not great. You don't want to see or hear about people getting death threats and that type of stuff. Tino gets it all the time too and I defend him all the time. So, you know, it, it, Luai needs to... He, he lives by the sword. He dies by the sword. If he doesn't act the way he does, he wouldn't get a such severe hate. But unfortunately, he does act the way he does. So he does get severe hate. But again... You know, if you want to call him a muppet, you want to call him a, a, a clown, like, do that. But don't go into his DMs and definitely don't be sending death threats. I think that's just stupid. It just looks stupid for the person. Um, Wood says, I love how Freddy dodges as many questions as he can. Does flop. Yeah, Freddy, of course, Freddy's going to dodge as many questions as he can. That's, that's always going to be the case, man. You know, when you're under the pump, you're not going to want to answer the truth. Seven so, says, Queensland have had... Uh, Queensland had more of the ball first half, and New South Wales just didn't try. Well, New South Wales actually had uh, more possession throughout the entirety of the game. I think they had like 56% possession and still lost, which is crazy. There's a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here, and there's still people coming through the gates. I'm impressed by this crowd. I'm impressed by the Queensland crowd. You know, they've definitely won in regards to the crowd battle between Queensland and New South Wales, if this is the case here for the women's, because there was not many people at Combank Stadium in Sydney. There is a lot of people here at, uh, at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Olivia says he said himself he's a sore loser. Exactly right. But he says, who was going to be the coach of the Titans? Okay, right. Again, go to the pin comment, my guy. Go to the pin comment because there's plenty of there's plenty of chat there about Justin Horrible, Des Hasler, and, and what the future holds for the Titans. Uh, Muhammad Elias says, love Slater's press about Reese being only 20 years old and that he will learn so much uh, more. Not that he did anything wrong, but it's scary to see how good he can be on Slater. Oh, he did. He still threw a headbutt at, at Jerome. He did. But in the same sense, you know, that's... Uh, you could, <laughs> it was kind of great to see. With about 40 seconds to go, or 30 seconds to go, they, they got into a bit of a biffo there. Out of the car, looked like a muppet. When you're down by 30 points, you can't really do that. But when you're up by 30 points, you can kind of do that. But I, I get it. I understand that. Yeah, look, he's young. He'll learn from that kind of stuff. But it's what happens in Origin, man. It's passion. It's, it's crazy. And same thing with Adokar and Luai. It's just, it looks worse for Adokar and Luai because they're losing. So it makes them look like sore losers. You know, it was really confusing to see Josh on a car pointing to his chest and like getting around New South Wales. You're like, bro, you're down by 30 points. And you've just been binned. Like, no one's proud of what you've just done. Like, there's no one, maybe a couple of people here and there is proud, but like, they're flops. Like, truly, if you're proud of that, you're down by 30 points. Just walk off the field, man. You shouldn't even throw the punch in the first place, you know, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Seminar says, uh, who was your favorite player in game two? Or well, favorite player in game two? I think it's Daly Cherry Evans. I think it is uh, Cherry Evans there, man. Yeah, I, I think I have to go with him. You, that game changes by uh, Cherry Evans making that, that chase down on Stephen Crichton. And I thought that Cherry Evans was really quality across the field last night. And I was really impressed. So I would go Daly Cherry Evans. Uh, it was a real captain's knock to you, to be honest with you. Uh, that's the last I've heard for a women's game, uh, Teal Chunga says. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so just got the national anthem here right now, guys. Obviously, let me know who you think will win this game. Uh, this is, like I said, the last game. So... New South Wales, if they don't win by more than nine, if they win by six, they still lose the series. If they win by six, they still lose the series. Uh, if they win by eight, they still... I think it was a drawn series, but I believe it would go down to last year, which was the New South Wales team that got it. But there is eight Gold Coast Titans women's players playing tonight. Eight of them. Truly, that's amazing. But they haven't really been able to speak too much about them because of what's been happening at the club. So, yeah. Come Queensland girls, bring it home. Exactly right, Olivia. Let's get it. What happened if we win by eight? Again, I think that it's... I think it goes to New South Wales because of last year. It's like back in the day when there were drawn series in the State of Origin men's. 
it would go to the previous winner, right? It would be drawn, but the trophy would be staying with the previous winner. So, and it's happened. It happened a couple of times in uh, State of Origin men's back in the day. Um, Muhammad Ayasa says Queensland win eighteen eight. Would love to see it. Ozzy says, do you like Coppo or Coates better on Queensland wing? Oh, Coates was good last night, man. I did love a bit of what Xavier Coates was bringing to the table. I uh, love Xavier Coates' chase down as well on Stephen Crichton. He cut across the field fast, man. It showed how much he cared. Uh, same with Munster. But look, I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I, I think that Xavier Coates really proved a lot last night. I think that if I was Billy, I would personally be selecting Xavier Coates. I really would be, yeah. And I had doubts about him going into game two, uh, but... You know, he really proved himself, and, and I thought he played quality. So, Faz, are you going to any every women's Titans game and vlog? Nah, bro. No, 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 no. I'll be at every men's game. If there's a women's game before him, that's great. Otherwise, I'll do my best to create content for the women's. But no, I won't be at every I won't be at every uh, Titans women's game. Uh, DC or Lindsay Collins are my favourites. Yeah, I, I think DC for me. Are you streaming the under-19s in a couple of weeks? It depends on when it's on. If it's on at a time where it doesn't interrupt anything else... Then yes, if it's if it's on at a time it's interrupting something else, then no, I probably won't do that. Uh, but I would love to see it. You know, it's always good to see the young blokes coming through. Always great to see. Mahmoud Gas says the Storm boys turned it up. They did, yeah, they did. So here we go. Kickoff is getting underway here. Queensland kicking off in New South Wales. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And the Blues will get. Oh, geez, she gets the ball at the five. And here comes. Uh, Kezzy Apps, good run by Kezzy Apps. Gets his ball all the way to the 20. Really, oh, 25. Good, strong run there by Kezzy Apps. And then it says, Fox had made a lot of dirty plays on Walsh. Firstly, when he hit Walsh on the head while he was on the ground with that tackle in air. Then him throwing a punch in him towards the end of game two. Absolutely. And uh, with the punch, it's like he was hidden behind. Uh, he was hidden behind his plays and then comes throwing a punch from behind uh, uh, Drum Lua. It's just sad, bro. It really was just sad. Lagging balls like this, Ali Brigginshaw getting on the trot. She's been cracking on for a while now, man. She's been cracking on for a while. Four tackling out the 48, right hand side over the Blues. I think they're going to kick it, and that's exactly what they'll do. And uh, it will be Jesse Southwell who gets this ball and kicks it down. Queensland bring it back out to the 20, and that's a penalty, baby. Let's go. That's a penalty there against Millie Boyle for offside. So Queensland will get the first penalty of the game. Uh, Ozzy says, do you think Ponga will make a return to Origin years to come? I don't believe so, man. I'm not going to lie. I, do, I don't know if he'll be able to get in over the likes of Reese Walsh if he keeps playing the way he's playing. Um, you know, who knows how AJ Brimdog Millionaire is going to perform under Desi as well. You know, I can't believe I'm even saying that now. It's still... It's still mad to even think about. I can't even believe... It's been a long day. Um, but I can't even believe I just said, like what AJ does under Desi. Like, I can't I can't believe Desi's our coach next year. Uh, Queensland right-hand side, third tackle, gets his ball to the 40. Good and good and bad, but good. More good. Olivia says, Walsh knew he was going to be targeted. Uh, yeah, of course he did. You know, what about all those cats coming out and calling out Tina? What happened this time? Nothing. Cats. Gee whiz. Fourth tackle, at 40. Um, Smart says, Fox was horrible for us all year. No wonder Freddie dropped him last year. I don't think he'll play for the Blues again. Uh, I think he will play the Blues again. Well, who do you select? I think Campbell Graham will go to the centres. Oh, good running by Queensland. Gets this ball. I think that was Shannon Mato. Uh, gets this ball to the 45. It was Shannon Mato. They go left-hand side now. And Taron Aiken puts that ball in the air. Is Taron Aiken Broncos? Or, where, or is Taron Aiken Roosters? I can't remember. Oh, great run by Emma Tonagato. Mr. Roboto. Well, that was a great run there. So, uh, Southwell there goes right-hand side. And it's going to be uh, Isabel Kelly taken down at the 40. Uh, look, I, I, I think for Fox gets selected. I just think that if I'm going to make changes to the side, and you don't want to make too many changes, but again, it's it's a dead rubber, so you kind of can. I would give Edwards a crack in the fullback. I, I think that I would go with Tedesco next year. Oh, that's a penalty in New South Wales. Penalty in New South Wales there at the 40. I love that. They'll get in attack and range now. Um, I would give Edwards a crack, not because I want to, you know, shit on Tedesco or anything like that. I just think that you may as well give him the opportunity because it, it realistically means nothing. Getting swept 3-0 or losing 2-1 really doesn't matter a great deal, right? Um, at, when you think of it deeply enough and you understand that it's still just losing the series. Um, I think you give him an opportunity. I think on the wings, you still go with Adokar and Brian Toll, but in the centres, you go with if Trump is fit, fit and healthy, then you go him. I don't think that'll happen, though. Blue's taken down here 15 minutes out of the line. 
Um, I don't think he'll be fit and healthy. So you, you, you're probably going to end up going with Stephen Crichton and Campbell Graham. I don't think... Well, Turbo's not going to play the rest of the season. That pec... That is so sad to see with his pec muscle there. Second tackle now. 10 metres out here on the line. Left-hand side gives it off here for the Blues. Short ball. Millie Boyle. Simone Matalfa with a nice pass there to Millie Boyle. Third tackle here. Three metres out from the line. They're going to go left-hand. No, she's going to... No. Oh, good kick. Good kick. Oh, tr I think it's a try time. I think it's a try time here for the Blues. She might have put her foot over the dead ball line. But they're going to call try time here for the Blues. That was a good kick through. That was a really nice kick through there. Um, but I want to see her feet here. Tiana Penatani is the one who scores the first try of the game as well. Let's have a look here. This is pretty poor defense from Queensland. They kicked that ball. It's a beautiful kick, actually. Beautiful kick. Let's just see here. Let's just see. Yeah, no, she gets it down. Well done. Well done. That wasn't easy. That wasn't an easy get down. That was not an easy get down. Jeez. That was really nice from Penatani to get her feet right. But that kick there, that's a brilliant kick. And yeah, oof, yeah. Yeah, she gets that. She gets that. Safar says, it's about the defense side of things. Coach will destroy him every time. Yeah, but Safar, again, who do you bring in? Like, who who do you bring in over at Okar? That's the question. Oli says, in your opinion, was there any bad plays for Origin Game 2? For New South Wales, a lot. For Queensland, I thought there were players who didn't have as much impact as others, you know? I didn't think that Benny Hunt had a, an incredible impact. Um, that's not, you know, going down. And that's just saying, you didn't need to have a big game. You know, there was... Um, I thought that... I didn't think that Dave and Mo were able to really get into the game a great deal. Also, didn't really need to. Um, and yeah, look, I, I think that pretty much everyone had a great game, though. Like, I wouldn't rate anyone below a 7, a 6.5, 7. I think everyone still did what they needed to do. That was a nice kick, Tommy Sevens. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you fire a gackle, Clarks, bro. Pinned comment there is a full podcast about my son and Clarky talking about the Holbrook situation. Tasman says, how much have we got to win by? You've got to win by nine points or more. Nine points or more to win this one. Muppet Show says, you said Wales are a bunch of cats. Won't win anything for a decade. Oh, she's missed the kick, though. So we'll stay here at 4-0. It will stay here at 4-2. Zipperno. So his family says, Luai could never dream of kicking that. Oh, I map it. She whiz. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Luai. What a map it. Davis says, Burton have a Luai for game one next year. Uh, no, Nico Hines, bro. Nico Hines should go in there for me. Uh, I think that... I thought Moses was good for the Blues last night. So I would keep Moses in, in the seven for game three. And I'd give Nico Hines a crack in the six because Nico Hines for me is actually more of a six than the seven. But he does do very good in the seven as well. Looking in for the Cronulla. But I still think he's a great six. So the Blues taking it down now. 20 minutes out from their own line. First tackle. 30 minutes to go here of the game, guy. Of, of the first half, sorry. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Mitchell said, it's wild how people are still blaming Mitchell Moses for the loss. He was one of the New South Wales best players. Yeah, it, it's just like when Jerome Luai was blamed for game one. It's like, it wasn't Jerome Luai's fault. You know, he was one of their better players in game one. Game two, you can throw some criticism at him. But game one, not so much. Uh, but yeah, look, if you're blaming Mitchell Moses, you have no idea about rugby league because I thought he was actually one of the better players, if not the better player. Oh, I'd say Brian Toto was the best player for the Blues last night still. Left hand side here, good run by the Blues. They're making some really good meters. They're 35 meters out here from the Queensland line. We go right hand side now, and it's going to be Southwell again. Puts that ball down, and uh, Tamika Upton, fantastic play, Tamika Upton. She'll get this ball to the 15. Is Tamika Upton still at Newcastle? I think she is. I know Millie Boyle's gone to the Roosters, but uh, as Tam uh, Tamika Upton stayed at Newcastle. Uh, even though I'm a Dogs fan, I was saying for ages that Burton should have been 14. Why have Stefano anyway if he's only going to play 15 minutes? It's a very good question. You know, we it'll be a question that we ask ourselves the day that we die. That's a really good tackle there by the Blues. Queensland aren't getting much their way so far in this game. Third tackle, they're only 25 minutes out, but that's a really strong run there by Brigginshaw to get this ball outside the 30. Luai needs to be dropped for Ryan Maddo. Okay, slapper. Okay. Mm, come on. Oh, jeez. Good to see that wasn't a knock-on. Game one, that would have been a knock-on all day. Cutting tackle. Uh, Shannon Mato right on the line, but uh, she held on to it, which was nice. And now the Queenslanders get this ball down. It'll be about 23 metres out from the Blues line. Here they come back again. And Matonagato cuts it well and truly across there. And Jamie Chapman. She's a Gold Coast Titan this year. Get around her. She is a quality player, the old Jamie Chapman. Jad forces the city country trial games are impar imperative for New South Wales selection process. Yeah, but in the same sense that New South Wales still had city versus country 
all throughout the eight years. Dominance. Ah, there's the New South Wales knock on there. And now it's going to be Queensland with the ball. Here we go. So the Blues knock it on there. About 45 metres out here from the Queensland line. And now Queensland can get an opportunity to make Upton here. Fantastic run inside the attack and half. Oh, will the scores appear on the screen? Oh, I must have to refresh. I must have to refresh here. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Give me one second here. Queensland with the ball into the attacking areas. Because I'm using... They don't have the uh, on-flash score. They don't have this game for some reason. So I have to use NRL.com's one. Good run there by Queensland. Their third tackle. Now 25 minutes out. There we go. Hey, my man, thank me. Get in there and thank me, right? <laughs> get, me, get in there and thank me. Oh, no. That's dreadful for Queensland. to knock on. That's dreadful, son. Dreadful. So it will be New South Wales ball here 15 minutes out from their own line. Uh, but yeah, City Country was unreal. I love City Country, man. But uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to... Um, they weren't able to really do much with it, even when they had it. Because Queensland won 11 out of 12 series when it was still around. <laughs> he actually said thank you. Appreciate it, Max. I was joking, by the way. Uh, surely no one blames Mervis. I blame... I hate the bloke, but he wasn't shit. No, I thought he was one of the better. Had a few mistakes from here and there. 58% possession of the Blues. Oh, they're away here. Blues get this ball off, off to Pen Penitani. Penitani. Oh, Tamika Upton slapped Penitani. That was a 35. But, geez, Tiana Penitani coming back from injury. She has been fantastic in this game so far. A try. And, and look at the meters she's already making. Millie Boyle, second tag. That's a penalty here to the Blues, I reckon. Yep, that's going to be a penalty. Penalty to the Blues for offside. Dad says, we just don't get origin. That's the biggest issue. And it's a pretty big issue, Dad. I'm not going to lie to you. I won't lie to you, Dad. It's a pretty big issue. You don't mind that. Because I can tell you, Queensland get it, mate. Queensland get it, mate. You may not get it, but Queensland, we get it, mate. We get it. But Panatani, geez, what a run by her. So they're not going for the two here from like 35, 40 metres out, are they? No way. 25 minutes to go here in the first half. Ozzy says if Adokar wasn't in Origin sub or Garrick. Oh, they are going for the kick here from 20. Oh, it's 25 out. It's not too far. Right in front. May as well. May as well. Uh, but if Adokar wasn't in Origin, Saab or Garrick would replace him. Saab? No chance, Saab. Jason Saab? You crazy? No way. The only thing Saab has gone from is speed. I'm sorry, but no way, Saab. I'm a... I don't mind the thought of Garrick. I won't lie. I don't mind the thought of Garrick, but Saab, no way. Nah, Campbell Graham has to go to the centers, Marcel Moussa. He's a perfect, he's a perfect center. And they will kick it through. So it is 6 0 here to the Blues. 6 0 here for the Blues. You are crazy, mate. You're very crazy, Ozzy. You're crazy. Jason Saab, you wish him, mate. You wish him. Lucky to get into the manly side. Walter says Queensland sweep confirms. It may just confirm, Walter. It's been confirmed all season. Toby Stevens says Campbell Graham would be better than Garrick. Again, I believe Campbell Graham should be centre. Um, Evans says Blues fans are that desperate for a winger that they mentioned Saab. I can't believe that. Like, I can't believe that. That'll do me. That'll do me, son. Sam says AJ. AJ, what do you mean? So 62% of possession to the Blues so far, 38% to Queensland. If this starts evening out a little bit more, Queensland did have an opportunity, but then obviously knocked the ball on. I thought Lomax for Origin was bad. Oh, no, no, Mitchell, no, 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 that's bad, son. No, gee whiz. No, gee whiz, okay? Now, that's, now that's something else. Now, there's like, there's bad, and then there's woo. Not just bad, woo. And he said, well, the ball now at the 40. You don't want to go to woo, and don't even start me on woo. There's a difference in tone there. You've got to listen to a bad... Whoa. Whoa. Difference. Four tackle now at the 50. And Lomax is below those three. So four tackle now, 48 minutes out. Uh, Alex Johnson. Oh, Alex Johnson for winger. I don't think he's origin, though. Fifth tackle at 35. I don't mind it, though. But I, I'd say I just don't see him as an... Oh, that's a bad play the ball. Oh, that was definitely a pl bad play the ball there from the Blues. Just to clarify, guys, currently speaking... Oh, Queensland picked the ball up. Nice work. Uh, just to clarify... The Blues are still losing the series right now. Just to throw this... Ah, oh, Beliti! What a run to the 30. Jeez, strong run. I'd rather Damien Cook on the wing. <laughs> Mate, well, how about we get... Uh, how about we get Jake Avrilo on the wing? 
You're a big fan, eh, Jazz? That's a big loss for you guys, I think. I, I really think you guys shouldn't have got rid of Jay Cavarilla. Queensland now at the halfway point. I think he's been one of the better players. He's, he's, he's got pace to him, and I think he does like care comparatively to a lot of other guys. I wouldn't say that he's part of... Oh, jeez. Tamika Upton, very close to having an injury there. Her leg was stuck under the tackle of Ali Brigginshaw, but the Queensland kicked that ball up here. Where's the chase? Where's the chase? Tonagato, though. She's an expert. And Benatani's away here. They're going to score here. They've got to score. They've got to score. They've got to score. Tonagato. Oh, Tamika Upton with the slap. She is a defense. Brilliant. But Penatani is having a fantastic game on that left wing. And that was nice work from Tonagato. But wow, Tamika Upton's defense, as per usual, just absolutely brilliant. That's why she's a multiple premiership winner with the Broncos. Uh, and now a premiership winner with the Newcastle Knights as well. You know, she partnered Millie Boyle, came from the Broncos to the Knights and, and won the NRLW last year. Four tackle lead, 10 metres out of the line. Dolphins top four next year. That was top four. The Dolphins don't even... They don't even add a counter for. They don't have four fans. Oh, oh Blues here. Blues! Oh, my goodness me. Two metres out from the line. Fit tackle. Fit tackle here. Fui Mayono gives it at the back here to... Uh, Jesse Southwell, Southwell now. She'll kick that ball over the top. That's going to be... Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's going to be a knock-on there from New South Wales. Knock-on from New South Wales. Daniel Tubo would be a solid pick. Yes, yeah, Sam, like Daniel Tubo would be a solid pick. I still think that you just go with that O'Connor and Brian Toto, though. Like, I really do. Like, Daniel Tubo is a solid. You're not going to get any X-Factor there, but, you know, you're just going to get get what he... And he does have some crazy good runbacks. Very similar to Xavier Coates from last night. Uh, but Xavier Coates does also have that X factor and a lot more speed than Tupo. Uh, but Tupo is a brilliant winger nonetheless. So Queensland now with the ball at their own 30. It's 20 minutes to go here the first half, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Don't forget there's only 35 minutes per half in the women's game. Why not give Luke Brooks a chance? Why don't you shush? Why don't you just shush? You know what I'm saying? I think that's a good idea. What do we reckon, chat? Reckon I think you should just shush because they're Broncos fan. We like when Broncos fans shush. Four tackle here. Now Queensland inside the attacking half. Oh, good push off there. Oh, she's, I thought she was going to try and ship that. Give Cam McInnes a run. Uh, no. I understand what Guru was saying. I know that's where you're getting that from. I understand what Guru was saying, but not for me. I, I think that they've got they've got plenty there. Oh, geez. Tonegata was killing down this left-hand side. Uh, I, I think they've got plenty in the... The forwards. If, if there's a forward that I would like to bring back, Regan Campbell Gillard for sure. I think they missed someone like him last night. I I, I don't believe Junior Bolo is a is a starting front rower in Origin level. I'm sorry. I think he could be great off the bench and was great off the bench in game one, but as a starter, not for me. You know, I think you start Regan Campbell Gillard with Payne Haas and then you bring on Junior Bolo, the big bopper. Oh my goodness me, choo choo train, choo choo mother bitch. So the Blues get this block. Great run there by Jessica Surgis. Gets the ball to the 35. David Clement has come back. Probably should have never left. But there's a Freddy special right there. Southwell puts that up. Not a great kick. It will still find grass though, but to make it up to... Oh, damn! That's probably a high tackle. Yep, that's a high tackle. That, my friend, is a high tackle. And Isabel Kelly will get slapped with that one. Jazz says, hashtag zero in a row. Are you getting flashbacks of uh, the old eight years in a row, New South Wales fans? Ha 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 ha! Oh, this is, I'm just suggesting, BK, I'm not saying Saab will beat them. I'm not crazy. You are crazy, mate. You are very crazy. Jason Saab. Oh, we're going to get Daz made in before Saab. What it says, the Panther boys don't like RCG, though. Yeah, well, they can suck it up, man. The Panthers boys ain't doing shit in Origin. So it's like they need to suck it up and do what they are, they're told to do. Like, they're, they're professional footy players. Like, stop playing as if this is preschool shit. Like, if RCG deserves to be in the team. Like, if you don't like him, suck it up and play on. Oh, dearie me. Look at Spencer Lenny and Rhea Hargraves next year at the Roosters. They're not probably going to like each other, but guess what? They're going to suck it up and they're going to move on. It's a business. These guys get paid 30 30k just for one game. 90k across three games. Like, I feel like you can... You can suck it up for 90k across three games. Queensland's away here. Queensland. Queensland. Tamika. Up down. Drive time for Queensland, baby. To make it up with the try time. Boom, 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 right in your face. Right here. You see this face? Right in it. To make it up and go slap. Thanks for coming. 
6-4 here to the Blues with a kick to come to Queensland to make it 6-6. So right now, the Blues are down by 7 points. No. They're down by 6 points currently. They are down by 6. Jeez, to make Arthur with a good step there just to come back on the inside. Nevertheless, she looks injured though. I feel like she got injured uh, a little bit when she had her leg caught under the tackle when Ali Brigginshaw was, was being tackled and she got her leg unfortunately caught up and she was a little bit wobbly there. And then because the way she steps back onto the inside here, Tonegato can't get the tackle. And then just the way the knee probably comes onto the ground, or it might be just be a cork or something like that. I think it's just going to be a bit of a cork there. But yeah, she's been a bit banged up here in this game so far to make after. But look at her go. She's a warrior, son. She's a warrior. Oh, no. I've mentioned Warrior. Now we're going to see Malcolm come comment. I can tell you. We all know it. We all know it. This guy's going to come out of the woodwork. Senna says, Lil, I thought he was in, in an edit last night. Well, he was in an edit, but it wasn't mean. <laughs> Have you guys seen that photo that the people have photoshopped of the Titans logo with Des Hazel's hair? It's so funny, man. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Well, there you go. So it is a close game here. Four to Queensland, six to the Blues. Can we get the kick? Who's Malcolm Sport in Origin? I don't think anyone cares. Maybe I think that's the real answer here. Dazmo says, can Slater, Smith, and Thurston just get out of here uh, from the Origin scene? I'm going to say no, Dazmo. I would like to see them stay. Mm. Mm. So Zahara Tamara was one from four in game one, and she will be all from one. All from one. Missed that one. What it says, Queensland shits on New South Wales. Listen, say it louder for the people at the back. But it is still a two-point lead with the Blues, so they are losing the series currently by six points. If they score a converted try, they tie it up with Queensland. Jared Ford says, go the Titans. Exactly right, Jared Ford. You've never seen anything more uh, specifically incredible in your life. Well done, Jared. You're a gold star for you. Let's go, Titans. You're absolutely right. All right, 16 minutes to go here of the first half, and the Blues keep this one down. And Queensland. And Queensland. All right, down into the side, and good pick up there. That would have been a really difficult one to pick up. Oh, jeez. Uh, what's her name again? Number 12 there for the for the Maroons. Teetzel or something like that? Emily Bass gets that ball on the inside. Zahara Tamara, and jeez, Queensland still not making a great deal of meters. Massive gap down that left-hand side than when they broke through. Rocky Sports was Queenslander. Exactly right. Exactly right. Venom says, Ruben Garrick should get a run in origin. He's one of the best wingers in the comp. Can also goal kick and play fullback or centre if needed. They've got plenty of goal kickers in origin, though. Adds a penalty. Queensland, let's go. <laughs> Holding on way too long, son. Way too long. What do you think? This is a cuddle session? No cuddle session over here, Blues. We don't want to be cuddling. But that was Jerome Lewi there with the uh, penalty. Oh, sorry. No, I forgot. We didn't, she didn't get selected tonight. Oh, but that ball didn't go over the sideline. Oh my gosh, Queensland. Oh my god, Queensland. They didn't get over the sideline. All right, New South Wales now right inside there, 45 metres out here from the Queensland line. That's dreadful. It's like in women's game, we know they don't have the power behind the legs. That's not an insult. It's just a fact they don't have the power behind the legs for the long kicks like they do in the men's game. So don't try it. Just kick it over about 10, 15, 20 metres. You, you don't have to go for 40 metre plays. I'm sorry to anyone who disagrees with that, but it is fact. Oh, here we go. Here's a chance here. Jamie Chapman. Good little steppy, steppy, steppy Rui. Four tackle now, 13 metres out. As Southwell gives it off. Davis, Keely Davis. And then Simone Talfa. Five metres out from the line, fifth tackle. That's something Cleary would do. Mate, that is an absolute Nathan Cleary special. Let that side here... For my own, oh, no, 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 no. Ozzy says Bronx. <laughs> Nothing says if we let a try score here, we shot ourselves in the foot. Absolutely, but we did not. How about that? Uh, apparently, Anthony Mundane has put his hand up to, to coach New South Wales. I'll stop watching rugby league if that happens. Mate, if Anthony Mundane is the coach in New South Wales, I'll know that. Uh, 9-11 happened for a fact. Oh, no, the moon landing didn't happen. You know, if uh, if that happens, you know, the... No, I'm not going to say what I was about to say. 
the whole time I was saying those things, I was considering whether I was going to make it one of those conspiracies and say it, but I can't say it. It's not a great conspiracy. <laughs> the Queen's name gets bored of the 30. Anyway, point of the matter is, is that Anthony Mundane is just a muppet. Lives in some pump a Sunday. Shut up, Olivia. Shut up, Olivia. Dearing me. Don't start now. Oh, Queensland, good run of the 40. Fit tackle. Uh, Ozzy says, I hate the Broncos. Wow, Ozzy, I thought you had you have a Broncos logo and you're saying you hate the Broncos? Wow. And it's, oh, what on earth was Chapman just doing just then? Moonland is fake, just say it. it. Wasn't the one I was referring to. Uh, million One Gaming says, Congratulations to the Queensland. It's, Thank you, sir. Last night, well-deserved, as much as I hate to say. No worries, sir. I played a good game. I did. I played a great game. Second tackle here for the Blues, Tiana Penetani. Taking down at the halfway line. She's definitely been the player of the game so far. Oh, that's a knock-on. Oh, well, she's gained an extra three metres there, referee. Hello. Ozzy says, okay, I'm staying. Good on you, man. I love it. Iggy says, Mundane won a grand final with the Broncos in 97. He's a legend. Okay, mate. Okay, that's a knock on blues. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the boys. Venom, Venom says Gallon should coach the blues. No, I think there's Danny Badirius. I think there's Michael Maguire. I think there is. I thought Des was going to be a shout, but obviously Des got got uh, taken up. And what is this? Were you going to say something about millionaires in a submarine? No. So 12 minutes ago here. Oh, by the way, there's a, there's one of those. He's a huge, not like a YouTube guy or a Twitch guy who's actually in that submarine thing. You know, I hope they get found, man. That would be such a that would be such a terrifying ordeal. If you've got claustrophobia, don't Google or research the Titanic uh, sinking right now with the, um, you know, the tour. I can't even think of the words to use right now, but don't research it because if you've got claustrophobia, God help you. Like, that would be a horrific experience, man. But it's like a YouTuber or a Twitcher, Twitch person in there. And when people found out the people that were in it, it was just like, what? What's he doing in here? Jared Ford says, aggressively bounce back deep if you need to. Come on, New South Wales. Nah, Queensland's coming right in your face, sir. So third tackle went out the halfway point. Queensland roll it back. They go out to Ali Brigginshaw. Brigginshaw gives it outside. And here, oh, tight soul. She's still going. Gets the great offload away. Zahara Tamara. Another offload away. Shadow Mato. Mato, Tamika Upton. Tamika Upton trying to find a hole. Ooh, nearly got a high tackle there. I smell a conspiracy. Mate, we all love a good conspiracy, Joe. We all love a good conspiracy. Four tackle here. Queensland, 30 metres out of the line. Now fifth tackle. Holbrook could coach New South Wales. Uh, no. Uh, I think that he should coach Newcastle. Oh, good little t kick and chase. Little kick at the top. Queensland with the ball. That's a knock on. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Let's go, girls. Let's go. <laughs> Make Buzz coach. You put Teddy at six. Let's go. It's unfortunate they have the Blues, but it is a penalty to Queensland. Dean Pay, New South Wales coach, 2024. Dean Pay couldn't coach a crab race in Fiji, mate. Dean Pay couldn't coach a crab race in Fiji. That's a nice cheeky little chip over there, and it was just really good stuff there for Queensland. They get lucky, you know? Winners make their own luck, but I don't know why she looks surprised that that just happened to Sam. All right, Queensland here, an attack and opportunity to take the lead in the game. All right, left-hand side here, gives it off here, Taryn Aiken. Aiken now gives it, take it down to me. I knew Jay was going to delete that straight away. I knew it. I just knew. As soon as I saw the first little part, I was like, <laughs> Jay will be there within three seconds, mate. Don't you worry. Third tag. There are 10 minutes to go at the game. Oh, first half, guys, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Left-hand side now to Brigginshaw. Brigginshaw gives it off here. To Gray, Tasman Gray offloads it to Vanya Penalty. How did she? Oh, what a try! Emily Bass for Queensland. What a try! That is a great try. The offloads there were fantastic. Now, that's crazy, Mavadev. That is crazy. A couple of really nice passes there. One from Tasman Gray to get the offload of Pelletier. How on earth did Pelletier not knock that ball on? And then for Pelletier to get that ball outside of Emily Bass is just fantastic. Look at this. How she get this offload away? Oh, beautiful. Tasmate says up the Northern Territory. They're not actually playing tonight, Tasmate. They're not actually playing tonight. Still waiting to debut that team. Oh, that offload from uh, Pelletier was just unreal. Up on the girls. So now, New South Wales are currently down by 10 points in the series. Oh, well done. Great offload. 
Million One Gaming says, what can I say? Queensland are too good, mate. Queensland are pretty good, mate. Queensland are pretty good. Pretty good. Jared Foy says, Runway Bay, always looking for a good coach. What are you talking about? Runaway Bay, what are we talking about the Gold Coast for? I'm so impressed with the Queensland crowd. I am. I'm really impressed with the, the amount of people that have come out here for this game. Really impressed. Venice says, Laurie Daly to make a comeback. He was the one to end the eight-year streak. Might as well run it back. Yeah, but also don't forget that after the, the Blues ended that eight-year streak, they proceeded to lose three in a row. Like, it's not like they won and then they was like, oh, now we're talking. I remember when New South Wales won and they were like, oh, now we're going to go on a streak of our own, baby. Hashtag one in a row. Choo-choo, mother fish, we're coming. We won three in a row after that. <laughs> won three in a row. Daz says, New South Wales have never lost an origin in Townsville. Oh, well, it's the first for everything, isn't it, Daz? It's the first for everything. Million One Gaming says, Townsville love these rugby league. Uh, they rugby league lived there for 12 years. They do. Well, it's not like there'd be an unbelievable amount to do there at night other than this. A decent kick, but does miss it. It just is a bit too far out to the left-hand side. What it says, these played so bad last night because they weren't wearing their home colour of navy blue. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, boy. No, not, just nice work here by... That offload from Tasman Gray was great. And then to get outdone by Evania Pelletti's uh, offload is brilliant. Women's games don't get crowds. They don't get crowds when they're in New South Wales, does mate. Entertainer says, Emily picked the first try score and I picked Bass anytime. Up a bit already. Go to Maroons. Hey, Entertainer, do you remember? On this channel, when you tell us about a bet, we get 10%. This is how it's always worked. Listen, chat, you're going to tell him. You're going to tell Entertainer, you know? Make me feel better after today, Entertainer, because it has been a long day, son. <laughs> I'm just joking, but it is 10%, son. Don't forget it. First tackle now, they'll get this ball to the 40. Good run there by Shannon Mato. Olivia Reed says, apparently New South Wales have never lost a game two of Origin either. They hadn't lost since 2017. They haven't lost since 2017. Or you can say they haven't lost since 2023. Long time. Third tackle here for Queensland, Ali Bregenshaw. Then gets it at the back of Shannon Mato. And she's going to push this and punch this right on down to the 35 four tackle. Uh, Mavis says, typical for New South Wales, got rid of the navy blue and switched to sky blue. No loyalty. No loyalty, mate. No loyalty. Oh, Queensland, baby. <laughs> We're just too good. We're just too good, baby. <laughs> Let's go, Maroons, baby. Get the cash out, boys. Get the cash out. Now we're talking. Ooh -ooh. Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Great little run there. Too good, son. Is that Taryn Aiken? It's a great run by Taryn Aiken if that's a... Brigham Shore out to Aiken. Yeah, Taryn Aiken just shoves off one and then just... Drives all the way to the try line and goes bang. Goes bang, son. What the hell? For once I'm here... Um, once up here in front of you, there was just a try. It took 18 seconds for you to see it. Well, I'm watching it on KO. If you're watching it on Channel 9 on TV, you'll be ahead of me. But if you're watching it on KO with me, you'll be the same. Oh, I'll be a little bit behind just because... Um, uh, because YouTube is delayed by about 10 seconds or so. Venom says, Western Australia would play better than New South Wales this year. Man, I reckon we should get Tasmania involved. I reckon we should get Tasmania involved. Mm. And they're all related to each other down there as well. So, you know, it works. It works. Jay, you found a mate. <laughs> oh, Jay's got a new friend. He's not Welsh this time, but... Toby Seven says, you're not that far behind. Mate, I'm in front. You just don't know it yet. So 12-6 here to Queensland with five and a half minutes to go here the first half. So now this... One second, Zahara Tamara will... Oh, she gets this one, but Beautiful! Now we're talking Queensland up by eight, 14 to six with five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Do I like the Titans top golf joke? I've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about. But 14 to six, this now means that New South Wales are down by 16 points in the series. 16 points. 
million to one going because I live in Queensland. My son is a Queenslander. Eight-year-old son was giving it to me. You know what? Your eight-year-old son, he knows what he's doing. And I encourage him to keep doing it. Oh, it's out the full, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Two, 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 two. Now we're talking. Bob says, what part of power is Queensland in? Um, probably the same place that Toowoomba is in uh, New South Wales. I'd say probably, yeah. I'd probably say the power to Queensland is like Toowoomba to New South Wales. You get it? Huh? 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 Thanks for coming. Queensland gets bored of the 35. Chasing left hand blinker fluid if you've got any, Jay. What on earth is happening here? What are you doing? What's this? Some hookup site? We don't need a hookup. We're here to watch some brilliant Queensland slapping down action. So second tackle here, Queensland. Zahara Tamara. Oh, Queensland are just coming forward at the moment. Zahara Tamara, third tackle, 20 minutes out. Uh, Peter Sterling is a Toowoomba Grey. Absolutely, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Brigham Shaw gives it off to Taron Aiken. Aiken gives it off to Tamega Upton. Tamega Upton here. It's crazy to me why people still bring up the whole born thing. Everyone knows that Origin is not about where you're born, but like people still bring it up and just it makes no sense. <laughs> Fit tackle now. Uh, I don't know, yeah. Jazz is just like Kansas in Queensland. Yeah, just like uh, Apia is in uh, just south of Mudgy. And they hit that ball through here. Too high, heavy of a kick there. So it'll be Blues with 7 tackles, 7 to 20. Yeah, so Mudgy is here. And then you've got Apia just here. You've got Toowoomba a little bit down on the left-hand side. Like, um... It is uh, southwest, you know? So that's it's you got Mudgy, you've got Apia, you got a little bit of Toowoomba up here, but you have to go a little bit further up to get to Auckland. You know, that's where Junior Bolo is born. So, you know, that's the that's the New South Wales uh, that's the New South Wales spirit right there. You know, they love it. They love it. So left hand side now. Shut up, Chase. Sam Jenkins says, Do you like DCE blunder in the interview after the game? I don't know, what do you do? Uh so far, it's a great podcast, by the way, with Clarky. Oh, it's a lot of blues. <laughs> Destiny Brill, crunch here. See you later. New Seth for the blues. You wish, mate. I appreciate that, Safad. I appreciate that, mate. We do it every Wednesday. Uh, obviously, that was an emergency podcast. We did f- actually record a podcast and it came out yesterday. Uh, but we had to film this one today because it was just too big, man. Thanks for that. I might pass my geography test now. And no worries. No worries, entertain us. We'll... I'm always... Oh! <laughs> Oh, good night, Irene. I your penalty. Oh, I'll take it down at the 25. Knock on there from the Blues. Queensland are crunching. Palmerston North is New South Wales. Palmerston North, eh? Tam Weathers where it's at. Marplet. Yeah, we all love a good... Uh, we all love a good little trip through Mudgy to Toowoomba and then back to Auckland. It's always a good drive. Wait, where's Louie at? Must be on the bench. Wow, I didn't realize Lewis wasn't playing tonight. That's crazy. That is actually a really interesting stat that you've just mentioned there, Taz, mate. I was expecting Lewis to have more of an impact tonight, but she just obviously hasn't really got the job done. So Dodd comes on here for Davis, Keely Davis. So Queensland with the... Uh, no, Blues with the scrum. Hello. Okay, I know what I know what memes are about to be made about that scrum. Left-hand side now with the Blues. They're 30 metres out. Okay. And the Blues, now 20 minutes out of the line. Uh, Lua is too busy posting on Insta. Ah, makes sense. Ah, uh, makes sense. Not meant to be doing that during the game, though. So, probably she'll get in trouble there. Blues, 11 minutes out of the line. Can they get themselves back into this game? They, they're down by 16 points in the series. The Blues, right-hand side. Gives it off here to Samama Talfa. talfa has been trying today. Tonga's New South Wales. I didn't know that. Thank you for the geography lesson. Okay, right-hand side to Jesse Southwell. And short ball, they throw it out to the wing. Oh, that's pretty poor defense. Good scramble, though. If she scores, that's ridiculous. Jamie Chapman, one meter out from the line, four tackle. That's a 2023 20, Premiership winner there for the Gold Coast Titans. That you just Oh, she's lost the ball, and Queensland away. And Queensland are away here. Queensland, Emily Bass. Emily Bass goes boom, right in your face, 15 minutes out from their own line. Knock on for the Blues. Let's go. Sam Jenkins says he said in post-match interview that he will never get used to losing at that stadium. I do, really. <laughs> True. Dan says, the scrum should not be removed from rugby league in the women's game. I knew it, does. I know what... I don't even want to... Well, I do. But I don't even really want to look at Instagram after this because I know what was about to happen. I know what's about to be mean from that scrum just then. We all know it. I'm not going to mention it. Third tackle here, 35 minutes out from their own line. Million One says, uh, 
New South Wales can't defend Queensland. New South Wales can't defend a truck raffle, mate. Couldn't defend a truck raffle. Thirty seconds to go here, the first half. Can Queensland score just before half time? Oh, good run by Jessica Elliston. Is Elliston still with the Titans? I think Ellison is still with the Gold Coast, isn't she? I will stream as much women's games as I can this year, but they've put the women's games on at a very similar time to the men's games, which really frustrates the shit out of me. Tonegato! Oh, oh, nearly lost that ball. She did hold it, though. She did hold it. Auckland North. All right, left-hand side. Here we go. Now it's about to be... Nope, that's half time. That is half time, my friends. And should I say it or should I say it? Queensland. Thumbs up in the chat. We're coming. You can't stop it. It's not possible. It's not possible to stop a Queensland. We're just too good. Obviously, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for new round here. And again, if you want to hear my thoughts on Justin Holbrook and the Des Hasler uh, with the Titans uh, saga, pin comment in the chat. Myself and Clarky get into it. But it's 14-6 in this individual game. But right now, it would be, what was it, 18-10 in the first game? So that would be, uh, let's get some Queensland maths going on here. Uh, 22, 24, 32 to, 32 to 14. No, I'm wrong. That's Queensland maths. <laughs> I can't do it on the spot. Who care less, to be honest. Uh, Daz, mate, you are the biggest carer I've ever did cares. Don't lie. Don't be a liar. Uh, Queensland Mass means we just need a field goal to win. Fun fact for you, Sam. Greg Inglis was playing for the Rabbitohs, which is a Sydney team. There's your education. Grew up in Kempsey. You can have him for that. You can have him for that, mate. You can have him for that. And Tana says, uh, who will get a conversion from the sideline first? I genuinely don't know. Well, Zahara Tamara just kicked one. What do you mean? Zahara Tamara for Queensland just kicked one to make it 14-6. You crazy, man? Are you crazy? Mavita says there were two seasons of the women's game last year, wasn't there? Chooks won the grand final against the Dragons the first one, and Knights beat the Eels in the second. Yes, because COVID obviously prevented the season in 2021. Uh, by 16 at the moment, the pre-game stretches are a lot okay. Mm, thank you, Slapper. She'll play three games in Broome, WA. What are you talking about? Are you talking about women's game? Are you talking about men's game? Or are you just talking about something that you want to do yourself? Because what on earth are you taking anything to broom WA? Million to One Gaming says, Who was your man in the match last night, Baker? I I've gone Cherry Evans. I think Cherry Evans had a captain's knock for sure. Uh, and Tana says, Eels 30 plus over the Titans in NRL and NRLW. Oh, that's crazy, Tana. That's a crazy thought process. Um, funny that you want to uh, chat with me about that on here when uh, there's actually a vlog on the channel. Yeah, actually there probably be a vlog on your channel Two? No, you didn't go. Oh, funny that, eh? Uh, when the magic round. Ah, the Titans, Eels. I'm pretty certain. Let me just, I'm just trying to have a think here. Uh, I'm pretty certain that the Titans won that game. But do correct me if I'm wrong, Hayden. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it was uh, it was a close one. You know, the Eels gave it a crack. Um, but just let me know. You know, I'm trying to, I can't think. You know, I go to so many games and think of, you know, I've got so many numbers in my head. I can't think if the Titans actually won that game. Uh, should play Origin in Beirut too. Thank you, Muhammad. EQ says, broom, clean sweep. I played in Bankstown. Oh, don't get Daz started. Now he's going to start saying that Origin should be played in Belmore. You, you, you would have known this before you commented that. The first thing that Daz made is going to say is play the games in Belmore. Million to One Gaming says, yeah, I can't believe there was no Blues jerseys when Crichton made that break. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant. You know, and everyone looks at Cherry Evans. Have a look at Xavier Coates. Other winger on the other side of the field, he's going to cut across the smiley face of Daz. He, cut, he cuts the whole way across and probably catches Crichton too, to be completely honest with you. That's how pacey Xavier Coates is. And Cameron Munster too. The guy only ran 10 kilometers last night. He only ran 10 kilometers in the game. Incredible, truly. And Tanner says, yeah, didn't go to that. L looking forward to a home W thing, though. Gutho will score a double. Gutho is Sammy's little boy. Mother bish. Who the hell is this Queen Gutho, mother bitch? You've got Philip Sammy doing the Gutharina over the top of him. Oh, my God. You guys couldn't even win that game without a bed rubber in the first place. Olivia says he's gone quiet now. He's always gone quiet in the old Antonio, so don't you worry. Dasmo says he said it, not me. I didn't say it. You said it. I said that you said it. Does that mean that I said it, or does that mean that you said it? It's a good question. Million to One Gaming says the whole Queensland team was there. Yeah, the whole Queensland team was there. 
You know, you couldn't see Reese Walsh because obviously he was involved in the play. Same with Hamiso. But, geez, that run from Xavier Coates and Munster and Sherry Evans, when you're just watching him just chug across the field, as they said in the presser, you know, just keep those legs moving. Keep those legs moving. And he, and they did. You know, they kept the legs moving. And um, thanks for coming, uh, Blues. You know, and, and Stephen Cry, my Dogs fans would be a bit worried about that. Like that it, Truly, their, their star fullback, who is on uh, how much money, is uh, getting chased down by a pensioner. They're getting chased down by a pensioner. I love Cherry Evans in Origin, but... Uh, Seb Watson, did I miss your thoughts on Titans manager swap? I thought it was a bit harsh. Uh, pin comment, Seb Watson. Uh, we have a podcast, myself and Clarky's Rugby League column, uh, which is the Gold Coast Frontline podcast, and uh, we discuss everything from Justin Holbrook, Desi, Desi Hasler, and what will happen in the future. Uh, Mevita says, I still would love to see Ponga back in Origin, but Walsh brings something special, and he's been a star for us this Origin. Got rid of my doubts, which is what I love to see. Um, no, Walsh has to stay for the time. Walsh stays. Walsh stays. Uh, what's my upset of the round if there is one? I don't think there will be, but I have two picks. Titans or the Broncos. Slapper says, also, Cherry has to carry all that neck weight. Okay. I'm actually going to go have a look at the draw this week. I haven't been able to do a dipping stream for a little bit now, actually. I'll do one as soon as I can. Uh, this week is just too much. Uh, Dragons, Warriors, no way did the Dragons win that game. Uh, and that's not just because... It's not that I think the Warriors are anything crazy, red hot, but I think that they're definitely better than the Dragons, and the Dragons are not in the right mind space. Dolphins, Eels. Yeah, I'll go Eels. That's a tough game to, to actually call, though. I don't think it'll be easy for the Eels. If the Dolphins win, that will throw a spanner in the works as well for that top eight conundrum. Panthers, Knights. I will tap the Eels, though, but I think it'll be real close. Uh, Panthers, Knights. Uh, I will take the Panthers. I will take the Panthers. Even without Cleary, I'll still take the Panthers. Storm, Manly. I'll take Storm. Manly usually get up for this game, though. But no to Vojvich. Yeah, I'll take Storm. Titans, Broncos. Titans, easy. 13 plus. Uh, Rabbitohs, Cowboys. Nah, I see your comment there, Entertain House, but I'll, I'll go Rabbitohs there. I think the Rabbitohs, they've already lost that. They lost that game, what, two weeks back? Uh, was it to the Raiders? No, it was... Um, who did they play in round 15? The Rabbitohs lost to the... They lost to the Dragons. So I don't think they're going to be wanting to lose two games straight there. Yeah, I, I, I don't personally believe that's going to be happening. So I'll go the Rabbitohs to win that game. Keep themselves up there with the top end of the table. Hope that the Titans beat the, the Broncos and the Knights beat the Panthers. Obviously, unlikely for the Knights one there. Very likely for the other one. Um, so, yeah, the Rabbitohs just win that game. It's at a core stadium in Sydney. Cowboys hate traveling to Sydney. And, uh, you know, there you go. Rabbitohs take the win there for me. Roosters and Raiders. Ooh. Yikes. That is a tough game to look at. Roosters, Raiders. At Allianz. I'm going to go Raiders as the underdog. I'm going to go underdog Raiders. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm going to go Raiders there. That is a yuck game, but I won't be streaming it because I'll be at the Titans game, so I won't be able to stream it. Mevedo says, what would you think of Penasini being an origin? A Blues fan has mentioned it. How would you see it? Uh, as in Eels Penasini, as in men's Penasini, no. No, no, not for me. No, there's, there's better players out there. Penasini's a good player, but no. Uh, Mevita says, Hayden, that Eels vs. Panthers game was great. It was a great game. Saints will be tough as. Uh, Jeremiah says, anyone know who's the left centre for New South Wales? Asking for a friend. I think it was uh, Cameron Murray because he's obviously played centre before. So you'd think that... Uh, yeah, I think it was Cameron Murray. No, sorry, it was Hudson Young because obviously he could play centre as well. No, it was definitely... you know, It was Hudson Young. It was either Cameron Murray or Hudson Young. I'm a bit confused there. Um, there's no way you'd chuck anybody else in. Definitely not like a hook or anything like that. But uh, no, I think it was Cameron Murray or, or Hudson Young there. And Tanner says, I believe Rabbits will win by four or less if the Cows all back up. No, I think Rabbits win by a decent bit. Jared Force is for Warriors under the lights. Uh, troll back this week. Apparently Troll's out for a while. Apparently Troll's out for a while. I don't know if it's just rumours or nonsense. But apparently he's out for a little bit. Uh, million One Gaming says, the thing is with Queensland, you have so much young talent playing at the moment and that scares me being a blue supporter. I feel like Queensland will only change DCE and Ben Hunt in the future. Yeah, but it is a worrying sign. There's no clear definitive seven for the future. 
uh, for Queensland. Hopefully Desi Haslott turns uh, a bit of Tanner Boyd action into a future seven for Queensland. But, you know, there is no guarantee for... The, people say Sam Walker. Sam Walker's no guarantee either. You know, maybe you chuck... Uh, maybe you throw Ka- Cameron Munster... No, so maybe you keep Cameron Munster six and you put Ezra Mam seven, but there's still nothing. We don't know who the next seven is for Queensland. Venom says, Yo was originally the centre. I'm not putting Yo into the centres. Uh, Jeremiah Tottenham to- to- says, Do you think if Fittler wins game three, he keeps his job? Absolutely goddamn lutely not. Monash says, Queensland number 11, woman of the match so far. Number 11. Uh, number 11. Is that... Number 11. Do, 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 do. One second here, let's get into it. Number 11. Uh, is Tasman Gray. Tasman Gray has been good. She has been good. I have really liked a lot of what Taryn Aiken's been doing as well, and she broke away for dry. Destiny Brill has been brilliant from that hooker position. And a really good offload there from Vani Pelletti. And I don't think Tamika Upton's put a foot wrong as well. I personally would say right now that the, the player of the match would be Destiny Brill, but Tasman Gray has been brilliant as well. So it's between those two for me, yeah. Uh, Venom says, does Lachlan Lewis even play rugby league anymore? God knows, bro. God knows. Ryan Skipper says, Drum Lou, I can't do anything without Cleary. My point was proven right last night. Your pr- point was proven wrong when he got his team for Samoa into the Rugby League World Cup final over England and also New Zealand. That's where your point was proven wrong. Uh, but he, yeah, he didn't have a good game last night. But no, your point has not been proven right because you forget all about the Rugby League World Cup, which Drum Lewis played well to get his team to the Rugby League World Cup final. Romy Tietzel. Uh, no, Tietzel is the 12, isn't she? Uh, Romy Tietzel is the 12, yes. She crazy? You crazy, something? Lee one Gary says, I, I would put Michael on as a coach in South Wales. Go, at least we don't have to listen to his commentary. Uh, Seb Watson says, who would you like to see in game three for either side get a chance in origin? I think that it, you can have a, have a bit of a crack at Dylan Edwards. I think Tedesco will start next year. But I think you could give an opportunity in a dead rubber to Dylan Edwards there just to see what he could produce. Uh, Kevin Graham needs to have a go. Um, I think you go Nico Hines, six, and Mitchell Moses, seven. Uh, nine, still Damien Cook, Reese Robson, still wingers of Brian Tottle and Joshua Carr. Um, you know, you go to the, the front rowers there. I think you need a bit of Regan Campbell Gillard alongside Payne Haas. Have Jim Bollock on the bench. You know, you start Cameron Murray in the back row, for God's sake. You put keep keep Frizzell there, but what if Frizzell? I did not know this man played last night. I did not know this man played. Jeez, Frizzell, what was he doing? Antonis says Munster seven did in sixty seat one day. No, I think that Munster stays six and they put Ezra Mam seven because Ezra Mam actually does play a bit of seven. Has done for the Broncos this year, and it was pretty good when 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 Adam Reynolds was out. Uh, Rotowiti says Adam Reynolds, cheer baby, let's get it. I remember Lachlan Lewis had a wrestling match with Code Walker. He did. Well, they did. Thank you for that uh, impeccable bit of knowledge. Uh, what it says, was it Lewis that stole a stereo or something from the dogs? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Hines played six for the Storm, right? Yes, he played with six when Munster was out. Has also played fullback. Um, he didn't actually play much seven at all at the anywhere else. And then went to the Sharks and played seven. And had, obviously won a Dally M there. I still believe he's a six. I still do. I know it's crazy to say that considering he won a Dally M last year, but I still think he's a six. Olivia says Frizzell played. It's crazy, I know. He made, he made like 40 metres off four runs. Like, honestly, did not notice him at all. The only thing I remember Frizzell doing is trying to put a shot on Tino and coming off worse for it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did try to have a, a big hit out there with Tino, but he did come out worse of it, yeah. Oh, my God. Dogs Games, bro, what do you think of the news about the Titans coach? This is why I told you guys I needed to film that podcast today. Bro, pin comment. There is literally a pin comment saying my thoughts on Justin Holbrook, Des Hasler with the Titans. Click on that comment. I want, I want you to do me a favor right now, Dogs Games. I want you to go to that pin comment. I want you to click over it so that it like, expands, and then click on the link. When you click on the link, then you're going to go to a place, a beautiful place, called the Gold Coast Frontline Podcast, and you're going to click on the subscribe button. Bang. And then you're going to click on, you're going to make notifications come on. ding a ling a ling Bang. Then you're going to hit the thumbs up button on that video. And you're going to put your feet up. And you're going to say, you know what? This is brilliant. You're just going to listen to two beautiful men speak about the Gold Coast Titans. How about that? 
Uh, Jeremiah Tor Torres says, where do you think the Roosters finish? Not in the eight. Million to one game, he says, the last two years we lose game one. We don't, why don't we pick two hookers game one instead of chasing tails game two? Because New South Wales don't get origin. All right, second half is about to start here, guys. Second half is about to start. Let's go hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Now an astonishing 65% win rate at Suncourt for Queensland. Yeah. What's the win rate for Queensland at a core? Do you know? If Cats Demons draw, I'll donate tonight. You still owe me 10% of your bet that already won, mate. You still owe me that. You haven't done that yet. What? Is it Cats? Oh, mate. It's half time. It's one point game. It's half time. It's still so long to go in that game. I'll actually get to watch the last little bit. That's good. Uh, what are your thoughts on Hobble getting sacked, Mitchell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 98 percent we just said all right guys hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new around here queensland start off with the ball and i'll get this ball here to the uh 25 zero percent for new south wales at a core but anz i don't know no queensland won at a core last year mate. just to go on to a serious note of what you well onto a serious note queensland won at a core last year in game one did we not Am I crazy? I'm pretty certain I'm not crazy, mate. Obviously, a better percentage than New South Wales at Suncorp, and that's all that matters. We definitely have a better percentage at Suncorp. I'd say 17% at a but I don't know. No way, bro. If if New South Wales has a 35% win rate at Suncorp, you think that Queensland has a 17% win rate at uh, ANZ slash Accord? No way. It's going to be like a 45-40%. Queensland definitely have the ability to win in New South Wales way more than Suncorp. There's no way 17%. Queensland has a 100% win rate at bus. Now, that's what we're talking about, Venom. Now, that's what I'm talking about, Venom. Mitchell says, fake stats last year didn't count. This is a very serious channel. I think it's like 47. There's no 47% at, at a core. Damn. Blues fans, where you at? Serious channel, does. I'm exactly right, Seb Watson. Get into him. Third take, it wasn't Daz mate though that said that. It was it was actually Mitchell, but you know, have a go at Daz mate and Mitchell if you'd like. So Blues here at the 40. And uh, now to the 50 for Jessica Surges. Four tackle. Just to recap, guys, the Blues are currently down in the series by 16 points. There's only a two-game series, and they lost the first game by eight. They're currently losing by eight. So they're down by 16. To win the series, they have to score 17 points unanswered. Mevita says, Queensland have a 100% win rate at Adelaide Oval. Yeah, but that's because Adelaide Oval is like the second best place to ever exist after uh, everywhere else. Sowers Fairway says, 37%. 11 from 30 to core, but Queensland have played at other places like SCG back in the day. Hey, well, we'll take it. It's more than Blues in Suncorp. Right hand side here for Queensland. I feel like it's more than that, man. I feel like it's more than that. Third table, Queensland at the 45. Damn, nearly 50 50. That's bad for New South Wales. The hell is that not a six again? Okay, cool. I'm just going to screw myself. Ali Brigginshaw, nice run here. Brigginshaw! Oh, taking on the 40. Great run by Brigginshaw. 40 meters out now from the line. They'll go left hand side to Zahara Tamara. 35 meters out from the line. Fit tackle. 32 minutes to go here of the game. Can Queensland finish him up? Put it into him. Put it into him, mate. And little kick underneath to make up and try and chase it through. But Emma Tonagato, Mr. Roberto brings his blood to the 15. She's away here. Tonagato. Oh, taking out the 25. Great run. All I know is Queensland have a better chance in New South Wales than New South Wales in Queensland. Uh, Queensland have a better chance in New South Wales than New South Wales have in New South Wales. So it's going to be second tackle leave of the Blues. Tiana Penetani. She'll roll that ball back at the 35. Short ball there. Nice ball there from uh, Jesse Southwell. Can someone actually get me the legitimate stat of what the stats are in uh, New South Wales? That's a great offload there. And Kenny Charrington, oh, she gets taken down at the 25. Tamika Upton's defense tonight has been phenomenal. you got to say that. All right, Blues now right-hand side. Oh, Southwell nearly knocked that ball on, but she keeps it. She steps on the inside here. Tonagato, Tonagato. Take it down at the 10, knock on. No, it won't call knock on. Fit tackle here. New South Wales have a 100% win rate in the city versus country. <laughs> Sergis, what's happened? What happened? Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, that's going to be a knock on Queensland. I'm pretty certain it's a knock on Queensland. Oh, what are they calling here? No, it is a knock on Queensland. I was going to say, what happened there? Uh, thank you, Daz, mate. New South Wales have a 100% win rate in city versus country. 
Thank you, Jason, mate, for that really intellectual piece of uh, commentary there. Uh, New South Wales is the only ones who can compete in City versus Country back in the day. 30 minutes to go the game. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Let us know in the chat, guys. When City vs. Country did exist, did you go for City or did you go for Country? I was a City boy. I'm from the Gold Coast, right? So I'm a City. Even though that was New South Wales selection, you still got around it. Like, you still wanted to see the City or the Country win. If you're from a country town, even if you're in Queensland, you still go for Country. And if you're from a City town, you go for, for City. And I'm from the Gold Coast, so I'm a City boy. Malcolm says, Moan girls thinking anything men moans to do, we can do. We'll get around it because right now we're slapping the blues. Tonagato. Tonagato. So close. Four minutes out from the line. Country boy. Be good to see some women biffo. Oh, mate. Have we ever seen a women, a real solid women's biffo? It's a good question, actually. And that's us. What Demi says, mate, surely you're going to make custom made brooms when Queensland get the clean sweep this series. There's something in the works, don't you? Worry, Blues! Chance to on a Penitani! Try to the Blues. They're back in it. They're back in it. Penitani's been brilliant tonight, man. So 14-10 here with the kit to come from the sideline. But don't worry, Matt Sosport TV. We've got some uh, potential shirts in the, uh, in the thought process. Some potential th uh, shirts. Not an easy kick, though. Not an easy kick at all. So right now, they're down by 12 points. The Blues. Losing 14-10 in the game at 12 points in the series. Eager says, I support a country. It was fortunate to watch a game at Central Coast Stadium. Johns and Barrett. Central Coast Stadium. If I entertain us, just watching. I'm sorry for this. Central Coast Stadium is a nice stadium. Dodgy area, but <laughs> really, no one going says there's a women's biffo. Luai's hair will be pulled. I can't say what I want to say right now. What is it? Just sell straight up brooms as merch. <laughs> I just sell brooms. You know what? That's it. I'm just gonna go to Bunnings. I'll go buy like a hundred brooms. Limited, limited New South Wales merch. Dan says, don't remember seeing like a full on cat fight in the women's game. This is the game. It happens. Well, we did see uh, Jerome Luai and Reese Walsh go out last night. A couple of cats, you know. Luai obviously get, getting amongst it. Oh, no, I know the memes. No, I know the memes of that. Oh, it's a good kick. Does it get the distance? Oh, I hit the post and go short. Off the crossbar there. So it is I'm not... The memes of that kick, I know what's coming. <laughs> Chat GPT doesn't know, so I don't think anyone will find it. Chat D GPT. What a disgrace. Jared choices off the crossbar. That's cruel. But it's good, Jared. But it's good for Queensland. And we're all Queensland fans here. Uh, Reese Walsh and Luai are both from the areas. Oh, like, Luai, I'll give it to him. Reese Walsh, Narang, is like 10 minutes from me. 5 minutes from me. Narang ain't like shit, bro. Like, there's a skate park. You wouldn't go there at night because, you know, you're probably going to get Eshema, but like, that's about it, really. Like, the, Narang is not as bad as people make it out to be. I would say the the more, like, rougher areas that you don't really want to be hanging around in is actually Southport. Southport's probably worse. Like, place like that. Even Palm Beach at night. Like, Palm Beach is a beautiful place in the day. But even Palm Beach at night can be a bit rough. Like, Narang is not that rough of an area. <laughs> like, it's not that bad. I grew up in Mer Like, I'm, I grew up in Merrimack, which is a suburb that's right next to Narang. I lived there from when I was 12 years old until I was 17, 18. You know, I, I know Narang. The cinemas back in the day, though, they were dodgy. <laughs> Ford pass! Oh, Blue's here! Get the offload away! Oh, that's Ford. Oh, uh, 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 what? How is that not on Ford pass? Seven Blue's, like, 14 times. <laughs> not reading that. Fifth tackle now, 11 minutes out of the line. And give it outside to uh, Dodd and to make it Upton. That's that one covered easy, baby. You can't get one pass to make it Upton. What happens if the Martin turns out to be a tie overall by the end of the match? Well, like it used to be in Origin Men's, if there's a drawn series, it usually goes to the uh, previous winner. So I would assume that it goes to New South Wales because they won last year in the one game series. I believe Queensland won the year before, but last year was the Blues. Oh, gee, she gets away there from that Pelletti. Oh, she's lost the ball. 
Yeah, it's going to be... They're going to call knock on there. They are going to call knock on there. So it's going to be Blue's Bull. Demetrius Jamel Morant is from the area. He's about that life. <laughs> I'm taking these these Uggies off, man. I've got Uggies on right now. I'm taking them off. Getting loose up in here. I'm getting crazy. Feet are getting too warm. Was Luai on the Struggle Street show? <laughs> there we go. Any person from Australia who tries to claim they're from like crazy areas has never been to like Chicago or Vegas or St. Louis. Like there, New York. Ugh, some places, man. I've seen some crazy places in Chicago. I've told you guys this. Blue's taking that nine minutes down the line. We had to put her head down driving through it. First tackle, it's always an experience. Right hand side, Emmett Tonagato! Taking down three minutes out from the line. Second tackle. It's only a four point game here. But again, it's a 12 point game in regards to the series. In favor of Queensland. Blues! Oh, Dodd! Keely Dodd! No, she gets held up. Beautiful. Surely Woodridge is up there. Woodridge! Okay, Matt Oz. We're going to let that be Brisbane's, all right? That's, that's Brisbane's. So we don't actually count that. Woodridge is not the Gold Coast. That's Brisbane. That's Osborne TV. You guys can have that, you Broncos fans, eh? That's where the Broncos fans reside. Four tail that's lost ball. Oh, penalty to the Blues. County halfbacks, city standoffs, balanced by trial in the ring. I don't know. What just happened there? I know it goes to first try in game one, Queensland. Does it really? No, nah, that'd be wild. That'd be ridiculous. All right, you guys, it's time for you to find out for me. How does the winner get decided if it's a draw? So 20... Why would you go for the two here? What? What are the Blues doing? What are the Blues doing? Why are you going for the two here? They're down by 12 points in the series. And they're down by 4 points in the game. And they're going to go for the 2 from right in front. Am I crazy? This is the most blocker row special I've ever seen in my life. Blues don't get origin, Matt Sons Sport TV. I'm sorry, but... Oh my god. I have never been more baffled in my life. I have never been more baffled in my life than what I've just witnessed. So Queensland about to get this ball off to New South Wales. Let's just clarify what just happened. The Blues in the series are down by 12 points. We're 23 minutes to go of the series. The Blues are down by four points. We're 23 minutes to go in this game. They're 10 metres out from the line. They go for the two. They go for the two. New South Wales don't get origin. It's a fact. And there's Blues knock on. Oh my God, please. Queensland score. Score a try. Score a try. Score a try. Throw your TV out the window. I I'm going to throw my brain... Out of the window in a second. To make up to second ta first tackle to the 45. Andrew Johns always says take the two in every game when he's commentating. Yeah, maybe not when you're down by 12 points in the series. With 23 minutes to go. So now it's a 10-point game in the series. And a 2-point game in Queensland's favour in this game. Brigham Shaw gives it out the back. That was really weird there from Queensland. Third tackle at the 38. Logo says we need to put another state of origin to save New South Wales from torturing. Oh, it is torture watching New South Wales play rugby league. Always has been, always will be. And Queensland, Tasman Gray gets a good offload away. Shannon Marto can't really do... Oh, one-on-one -on -one strip with the Blues are away. A great strip there by Jessica Sergis and Tamika Upton. Great defense as always. All right, so the Blues now, they are 48 minutes out of the line. Tonagato giving a bit of a hospital ball there, taking down the 43 second tackle, 22 minutes to go. Unrelated, but Blocker's score prediction for game one was 13 to 8. He still thinks tries are worth three points. There is something else, that bloke. 
There's something else. There's a work experience kid. A left hand side here. And the Blues will get taken down at the 15. Feels like I'm watching Newcastle. Well, the women's Newcastle team won the comp last year, mate, so probably not. Right hand side here for the Blues. Fui Maono. Melly Boyle. Hasn't really been as much of an impact in this game so far. Taking down five minutes out from the line. Fifth tackle. Here we go. Here we go. Right hand side to Southwell. Southwell gives it across. Oh, uh, no. No. N no. And knock on Queensland. Oh, dear. I thought that was just a knock on Blues. Take the two. No, it's a knock on Olivia. They can't take the two. But if they could take the two, they're all over it. Maybe they misread the score. This score doesn't matter. This score doesn't matter. They are still down by 10 points on the series. <laughs> 10. And this is the last game. 20 minutes to go to the game, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Honestly, if Queensland lose this game by 7 points, I don't give a shit because they won the series. <laughs> so Blues now taken down at the 15. Isabel Kelly. Oh, she's lost the ball, but it's gone out backwards. Emma Tonagato, Mr. Roboto! Ooh, taken down 15 minutes out. New South Wales got lucky to get the ball back from that. Absolutely. Wooden says, I swear I've still seen one of the ladies point to the goalposts. <laughs> Surely not. Millie Ball, good run. Second tackle. Five minutes out from the line. Here come the Blues. Out the back to Talfa. I'd give away a penalty just to see if they do it. That's a knock-on. Don't worry. And Queensland going to be away here. Emily Bass taking down the 20. I would have given away a penalty just to see if they had the audacity to go for two. Venom says this was the equivalent of when Greg English went for a field goal versus the Dragons when he was down by two. This was worse. No, no, no. This was worse because the stakes are much higher here. But I, that was pretty bad. All right. Right-hand side here for the Maroons. And it'll be second tackle now at the 40 on their own side of the field. They're making some good mates here. Surprised that wasn't six again. They're all offside, the Blues there. They're all offside. Queen, this is a good atmosphere. I won't, I won't lie. It's a great atmosphere for a women's game. Okay. Knock on. Now the Blues get the ball here at the 42. Zero table. Great atmosphere for a women's game, man. Players are going to start to get tired now. You're going to start to see a few more errors. At least it's been... This has been a better game to watch than the first game by a decent bit, actually. 18,275 people have attended this game in Townsville. Well done, Queensland. You know, New South Wales had like two and a half people there. And they were the family members. Queensland have got 18,500 people at this game. Well done. Congratulations. So third tackle here for the Blues. They, oh, good work there by Queensland. Takes them down. 35 minutes. Yeah, Isabel Kelly. Is that a record for a women's game? Absolutely it is. Absolutely. Not like AFLW um, where the uh, they give away free tickets in entirety for the grand final. Fourth tackle here. Right-hand side. Out the back here to Isabel Kelly. Isabel Kelly. And, oh! Throws it back on the inside. Good offload. And they get it off here to Millie Boyle. No, not Millie Boyle. That's Koenig, Olivia Koenig. Oh, that's a knock-on. Let's go. Come on! Knock-on, baby. <laughs> yeah, Loco, pin comment, my guy. Pin comment. There's a whole podcast about it. Myself and Chloe. That's a bigger crowd than a call we'll get for Game 3. <laughs> 18,500 is a bigger crowd than a call we'll get for Game 3, mate. You're absolutely spot on. I don't understand why they're challenging this. And I don't think she knocked it on, actually. Yeah, she doesn't knock it on. There's no knock on there. The challenge is successful, so it will stay as the Blues ball here. Good challenge. They needed to win it. They needed to win it, so it will be Blues ball here still. About 10 metres out here from the line. The one AFLW game I watched, they had to play fake crowd noise. It sounds like back in COVID times. Well, that wasn't the play, was it? wasn't a great play by you. Fit tackle here, 15 metres out. Fit tackle anyway. They had about a billion numbers out. To... They had like a six on three just then, the Blues. They had a six on three on that left-hand edge and decided to kick it through. Tamega Upton, today, defensively, phenomenal. Phenomenal. I reckon she should play for uh, for Queensland. 
can impersonate Reese Walsh. Wouldn't be uh, too di different look alike. And she played for the Broncos. So good run here by Queensland. Emily Bass taking out the 33 third tackle. Emily Bass, I believe, is a Gold Coast Titan this year as well. All right. Aussies just go Queensland. Fifth tackle now. 45 metres out from their own line. Manzelman. And it will be Tamara who kicks this ball to around the 40-20 mark. Oh. That was a close to a 40-20. I think it's like a 39-21. Just give it to us, ref. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Great song, but great kick there from Zahara Tamara. To make it up to noise in a solid game, best fullback in the game. She is. Best fullback in the game, man. Now she, uh, Guffo gets all of his best qualities from Tamika Upton. So first tackle now, 25 metres out from their own line. Here comes Olivia Koenig with the Blues, and she'll get this ball. No, it's Clydesdale, sorry. She'll get taken down to 35. Third tackle now for the Blues. 703 run metres for Queensland, about 1,000 run metres for the Blues, and yet they're still losing. Same old Blues, eh? Same old New South Wales. That's a mistake there from the Blues. Yep, thanks for coming. Thank you for coming, Blues. Please challenge that. It would be stupid. You cannot beat the Queensland. No, you can't. No, you can't. We are going to win. We're going to win again. Oh, beautiful, eh? It's just a song. I'm a songbird of our generation, Jay. I still should sing the National Anthem of Australia. I really should. When they do Origin next year, get me out. Get me out there. Olivia says, get your broom out. Get your brooms out. Get your brooms out. Get your brooms out for the ladies. Get your brooms out for the ladies. 15 minutes to go. It's plenty of time, by the way. <laughs> Should challenge that. Well, you know what? They didn't. Cry me a river. Ho, ho. Cry me a river. New South Wales. First second leave for Queensland. 40 minutes out. Where's Mudge with his little comments about origin, eh? Where's Mudge gone? After last night. Queensland up. Queensland up. Third tackle now for the Maroons. They're 20 minutes out from the line. Mate, surely you go on the next season, The Voice. Mate, the voice is going to go on the next season of me. So Queensland here, 25 metres out. Oh, good little, good tackle there actually by the Blues. Millie Boyle. All right, Manzelman now. She'll go out to the right-hand side. Here comes the Maroons. 15 out. Can they score a try? If they score a try now, you'd probably say the series is wrapped up. Not the game, but the series. All right, here we go. It's it's last tackle, Titzel. But okay, fifth tackle at the five. There you go. But it says, remember when New South Wales fans uh, wanted Origin to be cancelled in 2019 because they said Queensland weren't competitive anymore, yet they lost the next series? That sounds like a very New South Wales thing to do. First tackle of the Blues at the 15. Has Sapello come out of the woodworks? Sapello's never going to come out of the woodworks, mate. Sapello, it just disappeared off the planet of the Earth. The planet of the Earth, the face of the Earth. Second tackle of the Blues, 32 metres out from their line. They need to do a lot more right now, and this is a good little play, but they don't pass, and they'll get taken out in the 40. That was Queensland fans saying Origin was dead. No, nope, never happened. Well, you weren't alive when it happened. You weren't alive, Daz, so it didn't exist. Oh, Tamika Upton, look at her go! Tamika Upton! What a run to the 40, basically, there. Only these ults. I still can't believe he just gave up. Second tackle now at the 45. He's a cold. He's not a cold hero. We've got one cold here on the channel, and that's Oya. And that's Oya. Third tackle now. He wouldn't be having a good time with his dragons right now. All the blues, though. But Oya, if you want to join Desi Hazel at the Titans, be my guest, son. All the current champions of origin, Queensland. Oh, Taryn Aiken. Little step on the inside, but no one followed her up. Fit tackle here for Queensland. 25 metres out. Manzelman. Short ball here to Tamara. Tamara with a really nice little kick there. And uh, Emma Tonegato looking for a place to go. But there's nowhere to go, sir. We are the legend. 
He's no myth. He's a man. He's a legend. Oh, taken down at the 20, Jamie, Chat Jamie Chapman. All right, second tackle now. Oh, jeez, that was a high tackle. Ooh, I'm surprised they didn't call that. Go out, fullback. Just say go Titans, Daz. That's all you have to say. Oya for Maya. Oya GIF. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. We should get a GIF for Oya when he, he pops in. So, Blues here. Four tackle. Terrible play. Terrible play. What's going on here? Sherrington. Taken down to the 50. Fifth tackle now. Last tackle. And they kick this ball into the corner there. Southwell. Tamika Upton gets back. And, gee, she's been phenomenal tonight. Tamika Upton. I think that to make it up, then it should actually get woman of the match. Biffo GIF. Oh, Biffo GIF does sound pretty good, actually. Biffo GIF and Anoya GIF. Oh, knock on there by Queensland. Chancy for the Blues. Chancy for the Blues. Oh, no, there's an injury. Oh, no, and Emily Bass is injured. No, oh, touch wash is okay because that's a Titans player. Oh, Spear, man. Emily Bash just gets contacted. Yeah, that's fine. There's no high tackle there. Was it a strip? That was actually a strip. They should have challenged that, Queensland. Have they called this a strip at the Blues or have they called this a knock on Queensland? Because that was actually a strip. I guess it's not going to pick the better Blues team than Freddie. Oh, man. Prayers up for Emily Bass, man. She's done something with her shoulder here. Again, I am I just want to throw this out there again. I'm very impressed with the crowd in Townsville. Very impressed. They're, really, they're trying to big up this uh, State of Origin Game 3 for tickets. Good luck, lads. <laughs> it's a great turn. 18,500, Jared Choi. 18,500. I'm looking around. Not a single Broncos fan in sight. Oh, Queensland, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, look, they're all Queensland. How good is this? Unfortunately, guys, we are just looking on as uh, Emily Bass has done a shoulder in. Sucks to see, man. But guys, obviously, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And don't forget to go subscribe to the Gold Coast Frontline Podcast and the pinned comment to hear all about Justin Holbrook and Desi Asla with the Titans. Myself and Clark, he's Trevor Lee Collins. Jeff hates everyone. Who's Jeff? How good's Alfie, by the way? Alfie is just such a character. You know, you Blues fans wish you had a character like the big old Alf. You can't beat him. He's unbeatable, Alfie. Six more songs. Six more songs. Six more songs. It's the greatest moment in rugby league history. And you see Tino in the background, Paddy Carrigan, Xavier Coates getting into it. Tell us his thoughts on Monday and want to be New South Wales coach. That is my thoughts. 11 and a half minutes to go here. 300 bucks for tickets for game three. Yeah, good luck. Are they still charging $300 for that? You wish, man. You wish. Ben says, enjoy your Origin win, mate, because that's all Queensland are winning again this year. That's usually all you can win in Origin. Mm. Yeah, that's that's all you can pretty much win in uh, State of Origin, mate, uh, is State of Origin. So uh, thank you for your concern there, Benny boy. Uh, we will take our Origin win. In, uh, in men's and uh, more than likely in women's and in life. Mm. Thank you for your salt. I appreciate it. Bless up to you, sir. Bless up to you, Benny boy. Jared Troy says, Des Hassel, didn't you mention him last night to coach New South Wales? I did, yeah. Uh, Monday is a Muppet. Absolutely, Joe. Biggest Muppet they ever did Muppet. So this Blues ball here at the 30. Rudy Tootie, pin comment, my guy. Pin comment, but hello, sir. Hello, the Rudy Tootie. Left-hand side of the Blues. Here's a chance here. They still need to score 10 points, though, to win the series. They are down by 10 points. It's two points in this game, but 10 points in the series. Blues now, 20 metres out from the line. Second tackle here. Right-hand side. Now be 15 metres out now from the line. Here come the Blues, right hand side. Aussie, you're not even old enough to know what Desi has to select. What are you talking about? Four tackle here, 11 metres out now from the line. Yeah, Jay just slapped him. Aussie, you just told us you're 11 years old and you're starting to insult Desi Hasler. Firstly, go back to your Lego. And secondly, you don't even know anything about Desi Hasler. 
Oh, Blue's so close to the line. Fit tackle five minutes out. Don't worry, you'll learn today, little boy. Left hand side gives it out to Tonegato, but it goes to Grass, and Tonegato loses it backwards. It's still Blue's ball. Talia Fuimaono kicks it through. Queensland ball. Let's go, girls. Come on. Oh, sorry, when you say let's go, girls, you have to do the. That's what you've got to do. Did you watch the Wally Lewis stock over car? I have not. I have not. Am I crazy? Some kid Desi has mad hair. I'm going to start growing my hair out to become a Desi. Penalty, Queensland. <laughs> chomp, chomp, Madam Mish. Chomp, chomp, girls. Come on. Let's sweep. Let's sweep. Des going to the Titans is good for foreign. I actually think, you know who's going to benefit most from this? You'll find out if you look at the podcast. <laughs> gotcha. But I don't have... Like, foreign will, imp will be great. But in the same sense, there's actually a player that you probably wouldn't think I would mention as the player I think benefits most from Desi. Still crazy in my mind to think that I'm saying Desi's our coach, eh? 2024, though, but like, still crazy in my mind. Um, but there's a player in our team that I think benefits greatly. So if you want to know who it is, pin comment. Brooms are coming out. Get them sweep, sweep, sweep a ruse out, baby. Get them out, Matt. Let that side. Here comes Tasman Gray. 20 minutes out from the line. Third tackle. Clean them out. Get it going here, Queensland. Finish him off. Brigham Shaw gives it off here to Shannon Martel. They're eight minutes out from the line. Here we go. Here we go. Destiny Brill. Destiny Brill. Oh, three minutes out from the line. Fit tackle. Aaron <laughs> Shaw, Dogs Legend. Dogs Legend. Brigham Shaw. Oh, I think that's fine there. It's Blues ball. Oh, no, they're away. The Blues are away here on the left hand side. Isabel Kelly. Tamika Upton. To make Upton, man. Just incredible today. To make Upton's going to be the woman of the match. Titans deserve Desi. He's a good looking bloke. Mate, he's a good looking bloke, all right. Hunt confirmed going to Titans now. Des will be there. Mate, I reckon Nathan Cleary is confirmed. And Hunt. And uh, Munster. I think they're all confirmed. Why would you not want to play for a man with a hairstyle like that? It's just too good. Tonegato. Oh, 35 minutes out from the line. Four tackle now for the Blues. They go left-hand side here. Gives it off here to Fui Maona. Fui Maona. Short ball. Good tackle there by uh, Sinead Sashoka. Fui Maona gives it out and kicks it across. Oh, good take under pressure in Queensland. Oh, Beautiful. Ivania Politi, that is a brilliant take under a lot of pressure to grab that. If she hadn't got the ball away too, the Queenslanders would have been a way away. Like a way away. First tackle for Queensland, 25 minutes out. They just need to hold out to 7 minutes 40. As long as they only concede one try, they win the series. Des wishes his hair was as good as Wayno's. Wayno Schmano, mate. He doesn't even know who he is. Can't even remember what his name is. Sinesis Yolka gets his ball to the 45. Start a biff. We want to see a biff, Daz. Of course. We saw a couple of shielders going out last night. Let's get it going again. Left hand side. Oh, Brigham Shaw taking down the 45. Fit tackle. Luai Reese Walsh is the uh, biggest cat biff I ever did see. So Queensland now. See, I don't have to love Reese Walsh now. I don't have to love him for another year. Uh, three weeks, but in the same sense for another year. First tackle. Really impressed with what Reese Walsh has done with Queensland, though. Tiana Panettani, she's been really good for the Blues tonight. Probably one of their best, if not their best. Come the new again, Holbrook, please. Adam O'Brien's no good. That's what I'm saying. I've been calling for that um, since we heard the news. He's a good coach, Newcastle. I'm telling you, you'll get a good man. Right hand side here for the Blues. It's going to be Millie Boyle taken down 35 metres out from the line, fourth tackle. Uh, this game is so much more. Play instead of stoppages like last time. Oh, yeah, this is a great game to watch. It's a fun game to watch. But this is why you need three games, man, as a knock-on. <laughs> and Vanya Politi is coming up very clutch here. Very, very clutch. Six minutes to go. Uh-oh, Blues. Surely Queensland win the series now. Yeah, the series for me should be over at this point. The game, not so much. But the series should be. La 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 bumbo. La 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 bumbo. Queensland gonna get the brooms out. Sweep, sweep, sweep. La 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 bumbo. That's a great song. 
Bass is back. Emily Bass to be back is unbelievable. It looked like she really did her shoulder in, but that's unbelievable. Two point field goal height. Hey, how good did that penalty go for them? All right, so Tamika up to now is going to. Oh, good run by Tamika. They're trying to go for the one on one strip. Queensland's going to end it here. I can feel it. This set, I can feel Queensland's going to just roll up. Jessica Ellison to the 45 second tackle here. Destiny Brill, she'll go to the right inside to Brigginshaw. Now, Brigginshaw here cuts back in. 45 out, third tackle. 45 out, third tackle. Destiny Brill. Oh, that's close to forward. Right hand side now. And Tytzel. Brigginshaw looks hurt here. Logan says Reese Walsh is too, is too pretty to get punched in the face like that. What was Josh had a car thinking? Josh had a car didn't even hit him. He missed him. Cat. Oh, good play. To make Upton. Gets up to Paletti. Paletti. Oh, 18 minutes out from the line. Go for the two-point field goal. Just deal it for fun. For shits and giggles. Tamika Upton gives up to Taryn Aiken. Aiken kicks it through here for Brigginshaw. Oh! Oh, John Agardo has to kick it out. So it will be a drop out here for the Blues. They have to go for the short kickoff. Matt's on Sports TV says, yeah, I'm still scratching my head over that penalty goal they took. Mate, it was very smart for a fifth grader. Very smart for a fifth grader. But unfortunately, you wouldn't pass sixth grade with it. But smart for a fifth grader. Because the fifth grader still thinks, you know what? You get some points. But the sixth grader is just like, that. Eh, completely pointless. All right, so the Blues don't even go for the short kick. That was... Okay, Blues. New South Wales don't get origin confirmed. They don't get it. Why would you knock over the short dropout with four minutes to go to the game? New Queensland have knocked the ball on. But why would New South Wales not have gone for the short dropout just then? Logo says, New South Wales just can't win anything. I'm embarrassed. It's a little embarrassing, Loco. I can't lie. They're going to challenge us here, Queensland, might as well. Jay, you got a friend, mate. Say hello to your friend. <laughs> so, captain's challenged here by Queensland. The ball's still in the hands. The ball's still in the hands. I don't think you can say that her hand comes off the ball there. Her hands... <clears throat> but the hand's on top of the ball. Oh, uses the ground. Yeah, no, I agree. Does this, we have won the NRL two years in a row. Would you really class Penrith as a part of New South Wales? I would have said they're their own country out there. How short is a short dropout for the women? Well, she kicks about 30. <laughs> All right, here comes the Blues. Can they win the game? Can they get some f form of gratification for their efforts? Can they get anything? Oh, Millie Boyle. She'll get... No, that's not Millie Boyle. That's uh, Jessica Sergis taken down at the 32. And we won the NRL from 908 to whenever the Broncos won their first comp. Thank you, Daz. Uh, there was no such thing as a Queensland team for uh, pretty much all of those years. All right, second tackle here. Blues, nearly 50 metres out. All I'll say is back then, all those teams were filled with Queenslanders. The game's 70 minutes or 80 minutes. Uh, they are 70 minutes, 35 minutes a half. Or they need to try this set to then score again if they want any chance to win this series. Fourth tackle. Again, this result does not matter unless they get at least 10 more points. And they keep this ball through. Tamika Upton's going to be there, though. Too good. She's just too good. You cannot stop Tamika Upton. Yeah. Evania Pelletti gets this ball to the 15. Tavis Simmons says, get Tasmania into origin. We suck. You do suck. You very much do suck. Emily Bass. No, Sinead Shishoka gets his ball to the 20. Upton cleaning up at the back. Upton has been phenomenal. Queensland just going through the motion right now. Chana Palata. Oh, listen to the atmosphere. Listen to the atmosphere, baby. Queensland 2023 represent. Get around it. This is what it's about. Oh, good run here. Taken down at the 50. Oh, that's a big tackle, was it? Well, that was just stupid. Of course, Aussie is a Broncos fan. There's something else, those people. They are something else, those people. He's threatened to unsubscribe to me about four times today so far, uh, Mitchell. 
Blues now, right hand side. 40 metres out. Can they win the game? Sounds like Queensland Spirit. Daz, mate, loves Queensland Spirit, mate. First tackle here for the Blues. That was just dreadful there. And now, uh, Samaima Talfa will be taking down 32 metres out from the line. Second tackle. The Blues, all they can do is win the game. They can't win the series. And they get this offloaded to Tonegato. Tonegato! Tonegato! Knock on Blues! That should be the game. Well, no. <laughs> well, well, no. <laughs> she lost the ball! <laughs> and she lost the ball just before the line hell game, Dazmate says. <laughs> sweet, 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 baby. <laughs> At this rate, I'm going for New Zealand. There's definitely an there's definitely a knock on here from Tonegato. Or where's the knock on? The next one maybe. The next one is the knock on here. This has to be how is that not a knock on? Like that that was so obviously a knock on originally. They're not even gonna have to look at the on the actual No, Queensland don't touch that at all. Oh wait, do they? Which hand does that touch? I think. Well, they're not going to say Wells regardless. The Blues knocked on in the lead up play. The Blues knocked on about 13 times in that play. It's actually really difficult to see whose hand this is. There's no angle that shows it because it was zoomed in on Tamika. What? Oh, yeah, she does. No, good call. But, that. Oh, wait, what do you mean, New South Wales don't knock on? Am I sorry? That was very clearly also knocked on by New South Wales. Like, either way, Queensland win the series, but, like, it's horrible. Does she even get the ball down here, though? I can't. If she doesn't get it down, that's crazy. I would have thought that was guaranteed. And she will... Nah! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh! Nah, 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 nah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Get the brooms out. Nah, 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 nah. The broom... Penalty tried is our Wales. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no try. Wait, wait. Why is there a penalty try? Like, either way, Queensland have won the series, but, like, how on earth is this a penalty try? <laughs> oh, my God. Take it, Elquist, then. We win the series, baby, but, like... <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, boy. All right. So, 39 seconds to go here. Toby says if we get Origin. Well, the fact that Jesse Southwell's taken so long to kick this shows that they don't get it because, like, there's 30 seconds to go and she's taken a million years to take, kick it. It's now 25 seconds. You're about to lose the series because you're not kicking this quick enough. You're right in front, Jesse. 19 seconds now. All right. So there's 16 seconds to go here. Blues fans are jumping around. They don't realize they're going to lose the series. <laughs> like, look at them all celebrate like crazy. Look at all the fans that grab celebrate like crazy. You, you haven't won shit. <laughs> oh, man. No one care, cares about aggregate. Oh, we care about who's going to be the champions, Jeremiah. <laughs> Oh, we do, Jeremiah. Oh, we do. Yeah, the boys. 15 seconds to go here. <laughs> Why is it taking forever to get the ball? I'll never know. We'll never know, mate. You know what? I'm going to end the stream. before. I... If, if New South Wales score on this next play, I'm going to end the stream. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just walking away. 
If they find a way to score here and win the game, I give up on life. I give up. No, because that would just be the most humiliating thing ever. If they find a way to score here, don't you dare let them score here. Don't you dare. Three seconds to go. Hold it down. Give away a penalty. I don't give a shit. Don't let them play the ball. No, they've let them play the ball. What? You wish. <laughs> you wish. Why would Southwell kick it? It's get. And there we go. It's game over. Queensland win the series. <laughs> Woohoo! Queensland champions. Queensland champions. Queensland champions. Queensland champions. Queensland champions. Queensland champions. Series champions. Since I was on top, baby. You're not switch series champions because you lost by eight points. No, sorry, four points. What happened with Clydesdale? Oh, she's hurt her neck, has she? Like, it's all good, mate. Last game is the important one. Guess who's the champions, baby? Ooh, ooh. Big dubs. <laughs> What's happening here? What's happening here? On report for a hip drop. It's going to be a penalty. What on earth is happening? This game is being just wild. The game is still on here. Jim, I squeeze and celebrating the losing game in 14. <laughs> it's like when, remember when you guys lost the series in, what was it, 2016? 20, and uh, you guys won this, uh, the, the game three at the end of the series. Remember when you won game three of the end of the series and you had David Clemmer come over the No, was it David Clemmer came over the top? Who was the one who came over the top and fell over? Uh, look at the salt. Look at the salt. Look at the salt from you Blues fans in the chat. <laughs> the ladies play better than what the men's did for the Blues. Absolutely, Joe Troy. All right, so Penalty Blues, you still have a chance to actually win it, though. You still have a chance to win the series. I'm not even going to say anything. If they score here, I'm ending the stream. I, I tell you, I'm ending the stream. I, I agree, Arflexi. That's why a two-game series is stupid. Should be three. You're absolutely right. All right. New South Wales here. They need to score right now. They kick it over the top to make up. Then we are champions. 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 Thanks for coming, boys. Ah, oh, look, you guys go kill the stream. Does <laughs> make sense? Kill the stream. Still one of the greatest moments in the stream in history. But there you go, guys. New South Wales will win the game, but Queensland do win the series based on the fact that they won the first game 18 to 10. New South Wales will win the second game 18 14, but they do lose overall uh, 32 to 28. 32 to 28 is the final of these two. Congratulations for both series, Bunker Town, and come back next year. I'll bunker down and come back next year. Absolutely, our flag seat. You know, it's good to see. They, I disagree with that try there for the Blues. But in the same sense, you know, they get they get the dub there, but they do lose the series. So at least it gives you guys something to cheer about overall. Like besides the ban from the chat. At least it does give you guys something to cheer about. But overall, you know, this is why there should be a three-game series. Because this means it would go to a decider. You know, we would love to see a decider. You know, a decider would be absolutely fantastic. The, it would be a side would be absolutely fantastic, but unfortunately for the Blues, there is no game three. But that crowd of eighteen and a half thousand showed that there is an audience for it. There is an audience for the women's game. There is a lot of people who got out to the game tonight, and you've got to be impressed by it. You've got to be appreciative of it. You know, at Combank Stadium, they didn't have a great deal of people that turned out at um, at, at Townsville. They they found a way to get eighteen and a half thousand people there. So you know, besides all the banter and whatnot, it's it's a really impressive to see that it was a good game tonight. Um, and Queensland are the champions of both series. Queensland are the champions of both the men's and the women's. And now we just can see if the Queensland can do the under-19s to get the sweep, sweep, sweep a -roo. Sweep, sweep, sweep a -roo. But there we go, guys. I appreciate you as always. Obviously, tomorrow night we'll be back again for a live stream for the Dragons and the Warriors game. That's going to be heated to see what it's like with Ben Hunt. Uh, and he will be playing tomorrow as captain for the Dragons. And we all know what's been happening this week. 
Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a crazy, crazy night tomorrow. So obviously hit that thumbs up button, guys. Subscribe for new around here. If you want to go hear my in-depth analysis thoughts alongside Clarky's Rubber League column on our podcast, the Gold Coast Frontline podcast, go and check out the pinned comment there. Uh, click on that link and obviously subscribe to that channel there. Uh, but yeah, congratulations in Queensland. Appreciate you guys as always. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See you.